everybody <clears throat> we are gonna try to do this again and try to work on these these nights I uh, apologize not set up still a little under the weather but I'll get this going here in just a second let's see here but I definitely appreciate everybody yeah, we have another subscriber and I want to say thank you as well for you um, if you subscribe to the channel do me a favor you know let me know in the comments that way you know I know who you are and I can call you out by name since YouTube doesn't want to let me or let me know <clears throat> let's see here all right and we are part two Oh my gosh. Hold on one second, guys. I gotta. I have to. You're gonna laugh at this, but I have to manage my extractors on Warframe by going to the app and making sure that they don't get uh, destroyed I have left what what okay my clock and the clock for whatever you want to call uh, DE is definitely wrong because I did everything and I even gave it 30 seconds or so, and then I started my timer. And they're saying less than a minute now. My timer was about to go off. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Come on already. My one Titan extractor is down 60 of 100. That's no good. Anyway, we're going to continue to put uh, these knights together. Um, and hopefully... Uh, can we retrieve now? Okay, finally. Claim all. Let's see here. Alright. Deploy again. Deploy again. Deploy again. And deploy again. Alright. Close that. Set my timer for four hours. <clears throat> and we should be good to hook now. So. Boy, has there been some stuff going on on Twitter today, boy, let me tell you. Get my camera set up here. And I mean, just some dumb stuff, dude. So, I don't know how many of you, you know, that are new to the channel or whatever. You, uh, you know my takes on stuff. Um, but here's the thing, I don't pull punches. I'm not of the mindset that, you know, I'm going to necessarily worry about what somebody says. Um, that's just not how I do things. And, um, as they say, never meet your heroes well that being said it's not like this one particular person is my hero or anything but hold on a second I'm grabbing something here let everybody know we're uh, we're streaming on twitch 
YouTube. But, um, so today, and some of you probably don't know this, but they're, you know, we got friends all over that I would consider friends all over. Uh, X. If there's anything I really care about, it's things like racism, bullying, things of that nature, right? And uh, there's this new thing going on in the hobby that's uh, not only unfortunate, it's bullshit, okay? And I never in a million years thought, I mean, I just never thought that my, my, not my models, my hobby would end up being this way. Um, or I mean, a part of this whole discussion and, you know, nonsense. So, So, anyway, what am I talking about? There's this bullshit trend going on now that if you do not have models, you can't afford to buy models, whatever, you're not a true fan of the hobby. That is absolute garbage. Okay? Absolute garbage. That's elitist garbage. And I mean, I consider myself super lucky <clears throat> um, with what I own. Of course, as many of you know that have been here for a long time, it's been over the course of, you know, decades, really. And I'm not the kind that buys and then turns around and sells the stuff on eBay or anything like that. The only time I ever sold anything on eBay was when I thought I was getting out of the hobby. And that was a long, long time ago, and I realized that I was going to give up the hobby for the wrong reasons and so I stopped and I really didn't sell that much stuff anyway so anyway um, but back to this thing I'm just going to go ahead and say it for as bad as it's going to sound there's just no other way to say it if you're the person that's sitting there thinking because you have models and another person doesn't that you're a true fan of the hobby and yet you have a place to be able to tell them that they're not, I'm going to tell you right now. One, fuck you. Two, I Renegade promise you. Oh, you put some green stuff on. Uh, not on this one. That, that, that's, a, that's one of my older ones that I was just using for reference because I hadn't put them together. But, again, fuck you because I promise you I have more models than any of you. I promise you. And guess what? That doesn't mean anything, except for the fact that you're trying to quantify your involvement and how much of a better fan or truer fan of the hobby and the 40K setting you are than anyone else that may not be able to afford any models. If you, have, if you haven't noticed, I mean, the economy around the world is in shambles. I don't care what kind of non, I don't care what side of the political spectrum you're on. I don't care what you think you know about you know, uh, economies, world governments, this and that. People are struggling to feed themselves. They're struggling to heat their homes. They're, you know, they're struggling to, to care for themselves medically. And the hobby is not the priority to living, nor is a freaking piece of plastic, all right? I don't care what it is, nor is it a cudgel to be used to show how superior you are to someone else. You're just fucking stupid. And it's amazing, you know, I, I, I started this channel, I guess we're over two years now. I started this channel thinking what a great journey this would be, one, to get all my stuff put together and to help people with putting their stuff together, you know, I mean, 
for whatever reason, as we've said before, the Magnus head seems to be one of the most popular videos because that Red thing is a pain in the ass. So you got some haters then? Well, it's not necessarily haters on me. It's haters on other people on X and or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. Because you have people there that can't afford to buy any models, but what they can afford is to buy a book or, you know, participate in the lore through, you know, vicariously, you know, online or however they do it. And you've got people that do have models now telling them that they're not true fans of the hobby. It's absolute bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Renegade X79. It's all spam bots there. Well, I, I wish it were. Renegade X79. MR Destructoid. Yeah, I wish it were. I've had conversations with some of these idiots. But then, here's the thing. Here's where it's not a spam bot. And I'm going to call her out. So I used to watch, as of today, was my, you know, I mean, I've not watched anything today, but today I'm done. Okay? Discourse Miniatures. Or I guess now she's Dungeons and Discourse. She used to be Discourse Miniatures or whatever. I've watched her for a long time. I've even tried to turn people on to her because she's got a lot of, you know, interesting news that comes out and things like that. She's a little quirky, whatever, like I said to her on Twitter. Um, and I mean, she doesn't know me from Adam. doesn't really matter. Probably ignore what I had to say. She's not a bot, okay? But she came out and attacked this person for the exact same elitism attitude regarding them not being, not having... You know, models, and then try to walk it back and say, "Well, I was just talking about the wargaming side of the hobby." No, it's a hobby all around. If you want to start, com if you want to compartmentalize all this bullshit, then we might as well just get rid of Warhammer altogether, okay? And just, I mean, just have separate things, which literally hurts everyone. And, and someone that, you know, I mean, I don't know how prominent she was. I mean, I know she had quite a few followers and stuff like that. I don't know. I am subscribed today, you know, because I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be a part of somebody like that. That's that got that kind of elitist attitude. I can assure you, I have yet to find a single, maybe a single person. Let me, let me put it this way. A single person that has as many minis as I have. Just a single person. I'm not talking about play on Renegade tabletop. Social media goes to people's heads. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm not talking about, you know, organizations like play on tabletop that have multiple people with multiple armies or mini wargaming and stuff like that. You know, it's you know, where they've got, you know, multiple again, multiple people and access to things that, you know, even I don't have. But the, you know, you don't get, and I can, I'm willing to bet you anything. I don't know those guys, obviously. I'm not affiliated with them or anything. But I am willing to bet that if somebody broached those those people about if someone couldn't afford to buy models, that they weren't a true fan of the hobby, they would just balk at that. They'd be like, what? No, that's stupid. I mean, anybody with common sense would, would you know, feel that way. And it, it's fucking pissed me off today. But anyway, um, yeah, so that shit's going on. And apparently that's like the new thing or whatever. And it's just fucking dumb. And then, of course, you know, you got guy. I mean, on, couple that with all the racist bullshit that's been happening on Twitter, you know, lately. And uh, I don't know, man. We're fucking going out a goddamn rabbit hole that, that we really shouldn't be. So, anyway. Now my rant's over with, and we'll get back to modeling <laughs> and trying to enjoy the hobby. All right, where we got her? 107 goes on this one. Yeah, I haven't put put these together in a long time. Uh, they're Renegade, and I've got 15 to do, 15 Imperial Knights to put together. So I'm starting with this one just to refresh myself. And, uh, and then Grab I'm... Grab an Olek Dream Blade. May I say, you have lovely hands. LOL. You're weird. Renegade X79. <laughs> I have got any knights. I might get some. Well, look for deals if you can. That's that's what I'll tell you. I, again, going back to the models, I've been very, very Renegade uh, privileged. Renegade X79. So I want to see how they're built. Right Ruby on. Do. LOL. 
Well, the um, I can tell you, I've got other videos as well besides this one um, that go like everything from magnetization to the Imperial Knight uh, can like diorama set up with the Wraith Knight that I did all together that keeps it still at not only a diorama but also the ability to still play with it so um, but yeah by all means I mean appreciate you being here and like I said you know if you don't mind please like share subscribe all that stuff and uh, you know if you do follow or, or subscribe leave leave a comment letting me know because YouTube just won't tell me that for whatever reason and I'd rather be able to call people out by name on the on the stream and say thank you than just say hey thank you to everybody. Seems a little impersonal. But that's just the kind of person I am, I guess. And I'm open for any questions you may have about anything. I'm already starting to get my groove back on these. But no, Slim, I'm not going to be able to, or Ravalek, I'm not going to be able to get these done in, you know, a day and a half. 15 Imperial Knights, that ain't going to happen. I'd be lucky, I would never do it, but I'd be lucky to get 15 Knights worth of plastic cut off the sprue and cleaned up in a day and a half. Ravalek Dream Blade. Bullshit. <laughs> Hearing the robot say bullshit it's hilarious. <sighs> That's funny. Surprised it actually said it. Maybe it's not a common word that it's supposed to avoid. Renegade X79. You use super glue then? I use crazy glue. I actually don't. If there's anything I don't like, it's super glue. Um, and I get this question quite a bit which is why I don't use say plastic cement well there's a couple of reasons for that once you use plastic cement Ravahala that's it dream blade. look if you don't get it done I can't promise the time activated laxatives we had put in your food won't activate <laughs> uh, you're, fuck, you're funny um, I don't like uh, alright yeah, I don't like like plastic cement. Once you put that on and it cures, that's it, man. If you ever have to break something loose or, you know, uh, get in between there to fix something or whatever, you're going to have to cut the entire piece off. Um, super glue I don't like because it doesn't cure as quickly. Um, there's a, I have a happy medium that I like with crazy glue, and this stuff's cheap. I mean, I can get it from the dollar store relatively cheap. I got tons of it. Um, and then there's, hold on, let me find it real quick. I'm going to show you this. I always show people this. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Bob Smith Industries, who also makes a really good Grab super glue. Blade. But this he stuff. Do not when he says tons. This, this right here, this uncure stuff, sorry is really good for uncuring super glue and crazy glue type stuff you have to be careful with it um i mean as far as like you know when you're messing around with your models and stuff like that um but i mean i've had great great success with it um, and i don't use it that often so i mean i've had this gosh i don't know a year and a half maybe something like that and renegade x79 I looked up crazy glue. It's cyanoacrylate. That's what I call super glue. Renegade X79. It's, Very interesting. It's probably all the same stuff for the most part, but for some reason with super the brand name super glue, it does not work like it should for me. And it's got like if it gets cold or over the years go by, it gets super brittle and I've had pieces break off or you know come off. Not, not that that's necessarily, you know, a super bad thing or whatever, but it's just not, I don't, I don't like it. It's just not my thing. So I, uh, I will tell you, and you probably already do this, which, you know, smart. Renegade I always dry fit. We got a brand of it called Loctite. Oh, Loctite is even, okay. 
I know what Loctite is, and that's some hefty stuff. That's you might as well just do plastic cement at that point. You're gonna be hard pressed to get it off. Um, but I mean, you know, again, each to their own. So you always want to dry fit. Definitely want to dry fit. Renegade S79. Oh, you know it. Let's see here. But I mean, if that's you know, if that's all you got, it's what you got, you know. But I'll usually dry fit like this, put some tension on to make sure I've got the the gaps closed up, and then I'll go on the inside and glue just some spots, not a lot, you know what I mean? Because you don't need a lot. Checking everything. Wherever there's a connection point between plastic pieces. That's basically what I worry about. I will say that the instructions aren't that great. Um, if you look at part one specifically when it comes to the legs, um, you can't see them because the shoulder, the I'm sorry, the shin pads are on or shin armor. Oh wait, maybe you can see this. If you look inside there, let's see if I can make this in the book. See that little looks like a uh, wishbone from a turkey, whatever. There's two of those. You can almost make out the other one over there. You got to know how to put Renegade those on right. I see it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta make sure you put those on correctly because if you don't, and I, and I did it like you know by the numbers, if you will, last night. If you don't put them on correctly, your shin pad will not go on correctly, and it will frustrate the living hell out of you. I promise. It's already just a finicky piece, to be honest with you. So you can probably hear a click here. Maybe, maybe not on this one. I don't know. Weird. Hold on. Not that click. So I'm trying to dry fit this in here. And as you can see, it's a little rough to do. Ah, there we go. The goal here is to make sure that these pieces right here get in those holes but you gotta what I have found is if you push down in here first because these pieces have to fit behind this little shield but this shield is put on first and you don't really know what the angle is so I just try to go up go as straight up and down as I can as far as this side goes and then this piece right here fits just down on the other side of it if you can make that out and now that it's basically in there tight I'll just give it a little bit more pressure to like close that gap right there as you can see and then put a little bit of glue and that's all you need also I would tell you if you haven't already figured this out do everything that you possibly can to make sure that you do not put your fingers on any of the seam areas that you are gluing in case it does leak out and get on your fingers because then you're going to get crap all over your your model. Now that's not the end of the game if that happens you can literally just take your blade and scrape it off or a sanding twig but And so what I will probably do with all of these knights is I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them all together. I'm not going to I'm not going to actually, you know, permanently mount this and I actually need to cut this ball that, that piece off. Dream blade. I've glued my finger to my mini Bafoe. <laughs> Bafoe. Um but I'm going to leave these undone so that I can go back and it'll be easier for me to actually green stuff the uh the boots here because that's how you know I did the legs so that they can actually you know be walking or whatever climbing and not just that static pose that I can't stand um, where is it because this this pose because I mean honestly this is not a hard model to put together if you just do it GW's way but I don't like it it's it's too it's too static for such a you know awesome model All right, so we're good there. Now we gotta get the little 
decorations. Put those on. Alright, so we got... Hold on, what's going on here? So back when I put the Space Wolves one together, or Space Wolf themed one together, it left me with a ton of extra parts. Um, and so I've been kind of sorting through or trying to find all the stuff I needed for this. And I'm not a big fan of the Adeptus Mechanicus uh, symbols. I like these eagle ones. But I'm not seeing that we have enough anymore. So we need a total of six. I've got one here. Um, I may not have enough. That sucks. Renegade X79. Nice try. Nice try. I don't understand. Oh, maybe you mean to what Ravlik said. Renegade X79. Ah, it reads the emote. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got we got six. All right, cool. Trying to make sure we don't send these flying across the room like we did with those freaking wishbones last night. That was, dude, I was very lucky on that, man. One flew way across the room. And then the other one flew over here on my desk and in amongst a bunch of stuff and somehow or another I didn't didn't actually go inside anything to get lost, which was really good. Got really lucky. Alright, there's five. And there's number six. Okay. And second here. Sorry, I needed to blow my nose, and I don't think you guys wanted to hear that. Dream Blade. Yeah, you blow that nose smiling face with open <laughs> mouth and tightly closed eyes. Uh, you're hilarious. You're hilarious. Alright. So, I need to make sure that I have... Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab some sanding twigs. Just so you guys know what I'm talking about, these, you can get these off of Amazon. As you can see, there's 300 in them, and they don't cost hardly anything. They got all kinds of different uh, grits, and they're really great for removing mold lines or doing whatever, so you're not, you know, getting into your models. The one I seem to use the most, though, is this blue one. I can't tell you what grit it is. I just know that it's the grit that I want. Um, I use these probably the most. It's like just the right amount that you need for just about everything. Rough it up, that way the glue will stick. and It doesn't, you know, take everything down and ruin detail. 
And then they have some even finer ones as well. tell you with these um, they you have to center them they're they're not a what am I trying to say the the back of these things is actually bigger than the spot that it's going on if you can tell so you got to center them up and down left and right I went to the back one first that's because I don't want to be trying to put this on while I got one in front of me I'm gonna look at it this way make sure we're turning just like we need to and it probably was where I needed to be I just messed Yet up old gamer do you have a chaos knight army I have one chaos knight and then I have I took a um, the Glockkin, or not the Glockkin, but yeah, whatever the, the big Nurgle, you know, Warhammer Fantasy slash Age of Sigmar guy. Um, he serves as a Nurgle Chaos Knight because I cut his legs and added more legs to him. Think of it like uh, the movie Gattaca, if you ever saw that. And um, so made him a little bit taller. And uh, I have a normal Chaos Knight normal as you know it looks like a normal night just with some chaos stuff to it and that's about it but I thought about taking some of these and turning them into chaos stuff later since we'll have let's see we'll have a total of uh, 21 I believe 21 Imperial Knights And I really need to get back into <clears throat> the lore of how Dream Blade. He loves Necrons. You can eat shit. <laughs> no, I don't mind Necrons at all, but I'm glad I'm done putting them all Rabbit together. Rabbit Dream Blade. LOL. Um What was I saying? Yeah, I need to get back into the the lore of them and see how Zero their to formations are. Did you stream D2? Zero to culture three. Hey. Hey man. Yeah, I I mean I'm not as regular as most people because you know family and school and stuff, but I'm trying. It's uh I had a because of school and life events I had a seventh month break. Um, so I appreciate everybody that. You know, is here, stuck around, subscribed, guys like Mick over in Australia, and uh, that's the thing, I mean, I remember names, some I'd like to forget, like that weirdo Ravelic Dreamblade, I'm not sure who that guy is, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's a good friend. Ravenolet Dream Blade. Don't be Hayden. <laughs> Ravenolet Dream Blade. Haha. -ha. Alright. Zero to Culture 3. I gotcha, I just didn't know. I usually watch stuff on YT cause I like the 2x speed. Oh, I hear you. Well, I, I, I'm using Restream. I think there's some Rabbit other platforms. Dream Blade. All those oh nights we God. shared together, just the two of us. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, this guy. This guy, let me tell you. But, gosh, man, I am so pissed off about that fucking 
that fucking bullshit online with the whole if you don't have Grab minis. Grab dream blade. LOL. I can't even believe that's like a a, a a huge reach to say. Zero to culture three. Rest ream is good to multi stream. Um. Yeah, I mean, it. I can do Twitch and YouTube if you need it on other platforms. I think you got to pay for it, but this is free right now, so. I mean, I kind of wish I knew how to stream on X a little bit too, but I don't know how to do that. Not even if I wasn't using Restream. I think you got to pay for that too, probably. Right now, that's not in the budget. Because I'm poor. I'm a poor hammer guy. Except for my minis. I'm rich in minis. And you're like, wait a minute. Well, then how'd you buy them? Years and years. And now we're putting them all together. Zero to culture three. Sorry to change the topics. I mean, I came out on the one sixth debate saying it's the lore. Oh, I know. I remember you, brother. Well, that's that's what we're here. This is basically a hobby hangout, as well as how to uh, how to put stuff together that might be, you know, being a problem for people. Um, all all the videos, it's all pretty much how to build. And then once I get all of my models put together, I will start painting, and I mean all of them put together. Because if I start painting, nothing else will get put together. I'm telling you right now. Rava Alec Dream Blade. I loved Alex on the J6 debate. <laughs> Dude, I lit Destiny up today. I mean, I'm sure he doesn't care because I'm nobody, but what a fucking disingenuous fucking retard. That fucking guy. I got into politics in 2016. Okay. Rava Alec Great. Dream Blade. LOL homie over here with the gray knight paint job. Yeah. Zero to culture three. Oh, I mean, they look cool. It's just the initial cost is too much. Oh, yeah. No, I, dude, like I said, the, this, all this stuff was, like, when, when I bought these knights, so, let me see if I can do this. Uh, I'll just bring one over. Um, so, I needed to bring this over anyway. So this box set right here, for instance, Imperial Knights Renegade, came with two knights, okay? I, I think the knights, what are they going for now? Like 150 or 110 or something? Renegade X79, 4HE80. I'm not sure what they go for, but it's, it's definitely over $100, I'm pretty sure. But the point I'm getting at is, I bought th that box along with a bunch of others what do we got here one two i think eight total or something like that one two three four Weezy pillar five six seven Get a job no army having loser <laughs> yeah what's up brother um but i bought those boxes at a hundred dollars a piece now an individual night will cost you a hundred dollars or more it's ridiculous space marines when i got into this firstborn a box of 10 space marines was 20 bucks the markup is what, 200% now? I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. In everything that I've ever researched about making this stuff, it doesn't cost Games Workshop anything for the plastic. It's all really in the artwork and the boxes and stuff. But it's not, it's not enough to justify that cost. But again, my bitch is that if you're going to fucking... You're going to sit here and tell somebody they are not a fan of the hobby because they don't do models. You're a fucking piece of shit. You don't belong in this hobby. Zero to culture three. I have a job. I'm saving for a mortgage. I remember Sargon 10 YRS ago saying it was too expensive. So I just avoided it. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, when I say years, I'm talking decades I built up this collection. And I just never had the opportunity because of my job and everything, deploying and stuff, to be able to put stuff together. Not all of it, anyway. And it's, you know, 
priorities are priorities, you know. I mean, I don't really buy much anymore. Um, not that I need anything. Um, I did do the Imperial Magazine because that just, for me, seemed like just too big, too good of a deal to pass up. But now Easy you look. Pillar. I'm financially irresponsible. <laughs> I know you told us. That's hilarious. Um, but you know that that's the big thing is you've got to make sure notice how I'm, I always dry fit if I you know unless I'm an idiot and I forget but um, you know I got two little kids you know wife zero to mortgage. culture three lol I need to make smart moves now to reap benefits of the future probably probably the probably study that more than lore I can tell you that way the world's going right now freaking crazy and by the way if any of you guys want to talk instead of typing feel free to jump in the discord because I mean it'll it'll jump in there or we do that all the time all right moving on to the next page yeah I can't stand these knights having their static walk that's why I had to do the whole, you know, cut the legs and cut the knee joint out and stuff like that so you can, it can be a little bit more dynamic. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, we're going for the head. Ugh. Okay, this one, this is a part you really do need to pay attention to when you're doing, like, pay attention to what you're doing. Because if you don't, you will glue the head. And you're gonna be upset with yourself let's see 40 where is 40 I got these two pieces but I gotta find 40 40 where are you Okay, so yeah, the biggest thing here to take away is that this this piece right here, which is what operates your head, does not get glued in place. That way, your head can move a whopping three millimeters or whatever. Let me go check the mail since it is raining. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm here. Um, so, not normally, I put magnets on, as you can see with this guy, and that's how my stuff's able to move. Um, and I'm able to change out weapons, stuff like that. And that's what that's all about. Um, obviously, Games Workshop would rather see you buy more models than magnetize your stuff. But, been around this hobby a little while, and if it's magnetizable, it's going to happen. Rabbit Dream Blade. Well, 
Hello everyone I am your CEO host and I am here to tell you about the benefits to worshipping Slanish. <laughs> You're funny. I need to get with Wheezy too and figure out how he does his volumes and stuff like that for guys in chat or if there's a way to have it go through the, the software instead Zero of just off of my three. speaker so the learning curve is even higher than Gunpla no no I mean this this isn't hard at all man I mean it's you know I mean you could I guess make it harder like all this white crap or whatever, this is because I tore this apart and re-glued it and all kinds of stuff. Um, you won't even see that by the time I'm done and it's all painted. Now there's no, there's nothing really hard at all. I mean, it's just, you know, however you want to do it. Like, for instance, with this, and this is probably the best thing to tell you about. So you've got, they give you two different um, chassis, if you will, for, for two different guns. Alright? Now... Obviously, they only give you one arm, and what I have Alec Dream Blade. Weezy needs to fix his volume too, cause he has his volume so much yeah. higher than you guys, and it kills my eardrums. Right, I told him. Um, so you've got the two different chassis here, and this is supposed to be for this gun right here, this you know multi melter, whatever. All right. However, there's really no need to even use that when I can put because nobody's paying attention to that it's really about this part well oh, I just knocked that off apparently I guess I didn't have it glued on that well um, it's really about the gun okay you know or I mean you know the actual you know front weapon portion and if that's all you need to do you know to, to switch out your guns you only need the one chassis and you know for me I have this idea in my head that my knights are going to be running across the battlefield so they need to be closer with this anyway as well as their uh, chain chain blade or chain sword or whatever you want to call it so and it's really not you know not that big a deal put this back on <laughs> I, sometimes I won't glue things on that that heavy because I know that I want to go back and paint something um, and then I can just snap it off and then glue it back on later which is probably what happened here um, that happens quite a bit I'll barely glue something all right let's see so we guess we didn't quite do all these zero to culture three ah. and you also don't have to do all this you know crazy cleanup like I'm doing because ultimately you're not even gonna see half of this stuff I, it's just my OCD in a lot of ways. I mean, I put my entire Blood Angels army together and I barely did any cleanup and to this day because I figured I would just go back and do it later. I didn't want to bore everybody on stream. But to this day, it bothers the living hell out of me. So, let's see here. Where are we? Okay. This is going to go on here. Oop, wrong way. Yeah, this, I mean, that's all the movement there is. So, I mean, if you really don't care, you could probably just glue it in place, but you may not want to do that. And in this case, I don't. So, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit in there. And a little bit on the back side here. smear this so that it doesn't bleed over and then carefully um, I'm gonna tilt that back and then carefully assemble that okay all right, what's next? 
We gotta put the face on and those wires on the grill or the head, I mean. Zero to culture three. Gotcha, gotcha. It, it seems like cool lore, but very unfriendly customer service. Models too costy and limited poses. Well, that's, you know, again, that's why I made this channel. I can, there's almost nothing you can't do if you're willing to put the work in, we'll say. And that's part of the hobby, to be honest with you. Um, 49 is on this side. And I mean, that's that's the part for me that makes it fun because I'm looking at what they have and I'm like, oh, I can make that better, you know. A lot of people don't really care about that. They just want the model. They want to paint it up and get it in the battle. And I mean, dude, there, there is nothing wrong except for me, my own idiosyncrasy. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I just don't like the, I don't like the pose. And I don't have to like the pose because I know how to fix it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, got a straight up and down leg instead of can it out. And it's really not that hard to do. Hopefully this stream is pretty clear for you guys. I use my phone as my camera. And we'll go as long as uh, I have battery, I guess. Dream Blade. Get a battery cable tourist face with stuck out tongue and winking eye. I do, but you'd be surprised how much it actually takes to, to pull this off. Oh, because I forgot to put the face on. Where's that spot supposed to go to? It's right there, weirdo. Right there. Now you may be asking yourself. Zero to culture three. I can relate to wanting to improve on the base model. I'm just saying as a beginner in every sense of the word, this seems too hard to get into. While I've seen Gunpla, and it's movable, thus I can see why PPL get into it. It's a lower barrier entry. You, I don't really, I mean, I don't really see like beginner folks doing these kinds of models. Um, but like, let's say you bought it because you just wanted it as a display piece. You know, that would be cool. Rava Alec Dream Blade. Out of all the minis I got for Christmas, I got only the Dark Angel Terminators and Lion L. Johnson left. Nice. Alright, so that worked. Now, let's see. Number 42. This one, this is a pain in the ass. I ain't gonna lie. This one is always a pain in the ass. Uh, and the way I get around it is I make sure that I constantly move the head until nothing is going to be able to glue it. Just in case I get more glue, you know, too much glue on there. There's 42. Somewhere. 
Grab a Hala Dream Blade. Putting the minis together is rather easy, though the instructions for my Razorback tank was not very intuitive. No, they really aren't. It sucks, but... That's probably one of the biggest gripes I have with Games Workshop. Alright, we may not have that part. Because I mean, it, like I said, I'm kind of piecing together this night some stuff that was left over. It's like doing a puzzle. And ultimately, that piece that I'm looking for isn't something I have to have. Um, however, I mean, for this part. I will need them for the guns themselves. And that seems to be a little troubling. Okay, let me look at one other thing over here. Got these two boxes with nothing but spare night parts. sprues. That's probably where the parts are that I need. make my own. Huh, I guess we don't have it. It's awfully odd. Just double checking here. It's all right. <clears throat> we can fix anything. And in a lot of cases, like some of these weapons and stuff they have here, I don't really need them to move. It's not really something that needs to happen. It's not like third edition when the gun had to be pointed in a certain direction and all that kind of stuff. So, one second. It's like, got another box. He's always got another box. Let's see. Not in there. And not in there. Oh, here's more parts. Yeah, this was a Space Wolf 3D printed gun that I didn't really like, so probably I'll never use it. Well, does not look like we have it. It's interesting because there's a whole other head in here. Oh, oh, nice. Interesting. Well, that's the joys of kit bashing, unfortunately.
Let me check one more box. <laughs> Think that's gonna happen. Glad I not to build any more. LOL. Rava Alec Dream Blade. Hello, Kylo. How many did you build? All right. So we're just gonna. Kylo. Sixty. 60. Wow. Well, you got me beat. Were you doing it to, uh, like, for commissions and stuff, or what? Oh, I forgot to do something. Got busy talking or bitching about crap on Twitter, and I forgot to put this piece in. How about that? Oh, there's a 42 right there. Let me see the other pieces there. Kylo. No, they are all mine for doing competitive events. Well, that's awesome. I'll only have a total of 21. Imperial Knights, and then I have one Chaos Knight, and, well, technically, I guess, two, but one of them's not a real knight, it's just a Glockkin thing that I, you know, I'm proxying as a Nurgle Knight. <coughs> Excuse me. 60 Knights is a lot. I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> Dig, boy, dig. Rabba Alec Dream Blade. You should badger. <coughs> you should LOL. I should get 40 more, that's what you're saying? 40 more knights? No, I'm good. I don't even have a place to put them. You sound a little snuffling, man. Oh, yeah. You said you were getting sick. So. It was worse yesterday. And it's raining and cold, so... Shit and Twitter about Kylo. if you don't have minis, you Been don't. Playing them you're not a fan. for six years. That's oh, why yeah, I got so yeah, many LOL. Very interesting, um, especially considering one of them is a high-profile woke uh, YouTuber. Yeah, fucking discourse. Mm -hmm. And attacking a trans person. What a dumb person, man. She should have never even commented on that shit. <laughs> Again, they should stay the fuck out of that shit. Well, she's been showing her colors a lot lately. She's been simping for Joe Cat, which I don't think you probably know what all that's about. But. No, I don't. What's that? Okay, Joe Cat did a series of videos a few years ago, which even I like. It's called An Idiot's Guide to Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. Remember I, I, I posted some videos when we were going to start the b, b campaign about each class. It was like Barbarian and Thief. Right. It was like a cartoony thing. Yeah. They were, I thought they were brilliant. Uh, there was a lot of good tongue-in-cheek humor. They took a great light view. And it, he exploded into the beauty. Probably one of the top, if not the top, 
Renegade X79. Content creators starting drama is cringe. Oh, yeah. It is. So, all of a sudden, um, he decides to dip his toe into the whole uh, trans LGBTQ debate. I don't think he's part of the community, but he's an advocate, I guess you say. So, he makes this video called I Like Girls. Whatever. Zero to Culture 3. I thought Joka was cancelled for his I Like Girls video. I was cute but then tweets came out that he was pro-canceling PPL who play Hogwarts so I said karma. Yes, Hello. He, uh, Is this for events then or just for fun? Yeah, then he got involved in the whole uh, Hogwarts thing and uh, then I, I, for whatever reason people didn't like the I Like Girls blah 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 blah. So instead of just dealing with it, he goes full drama queen and starts playing. Oh my god, I'm leaving the hobby. I'm no longer going to be a content creator because of these evil people. <laughs> it was gone um, three days. Three days. But when he made these announcements, uh, what's her name? The the one the one YouTuber we were just talked about threw her hat in the ring and started saying, "You're bullies and you chased Joe Cat away and you suck and your mom didn't love you and all this other bullshit." She spewed out. This poor said that. Yes. Wow. And then Joe Cat is gone three days and he's already fucking back. Which oh, so this just happened. Yeah, this is some drama queen. Wow. And, um... Oh, yeah, Kylo... Badger doesn't have fun. It's against his religion. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Kylo asks, is this for events or just for fun? And I said, Badger doesn't have fun. <laughs> uh, this is... This is my... This is my main hobby in life. Next to motorcycles. <laughs> and... I, uh... Motorcycles? Yeah. You don't ever talk about your motorcycles. A real motorcyclist doesn't. Tourist. Oh, Ooh. damn. <laughs> Freaking tourist. Tar target yeah. shoots fire. <laughs> yeah. That's not a great ultramarine of you. <laughs> That's because I'm not an ultramarine. There you go. I don't know, man. Looks like it doesn't it matter. Terrible. It doesn't matter what old Dan says. Hey, look at, yeah, but I'm... Look at the ball on his trackball mouse. First of all, a trackball mouse is always fucking suspicious. Yeah. That looks like ultramarine blue down there, isn't it? A trackball mouse is mandatory. Yeah, oh, man. You game with it, which seems weirder. Yeah. Hold on a second, guys.
what were, what were we saying? Something about motorcycle tourists? Not Turing? Yeah, seeing all of your motorcycles ultramarine below. Yeah, that'll never happen. Never gonna happen. 41. <clears throat> oh, did you see the new the new Disney Kylo. Plus? Poster? Well, hopefully the balance sheet might help them out in the meta, but I don't think it will much. Hide an oath in the ITC with them, so time to move on to something new. I guess I don't know what's going on. I'm I'm not a tournament player anymore. I just yeah. you know. <laughs> what up, huh? Um. Oh no, the new Disney Plus. Uh, they introduced a character called Echo, which apparently is like a grade B Marvel superhero character. Echo, she, Echo. She, she's deaf, but okay. she can apparently do every like all she has to do is watch somebody fight, and she can repeat what they do. Like she literally can just watch you fight one time and learn how you fight. She could just sit and watch Captain America videos and then find Captain America. So anyway, uh, she's a person of color. She's deaf. She's got a fake leg. <laughs> she's like checking all the boxes for him. But the poster they put out for the show is the word echo in sign language. Okay. Why not just write the word echo? They're deaf, not blind. <clears throat> right. And uh, Slim made it who this is, Mistress Riona. She's a deaf VTuber. Yep, I know who she is. Okay. And she literally put, she goes, you know we can fucking read, right? <laughs> I follow her for two things. <laughs> yeah, I, I know exactly why you want to <laughs> Oh, damn. Yeah. All I had to say was Mistress Riona, and here's Dan. Hey, what's up, guys? Yep. I heard you talk about a big titty deaf girl. Exactly. I was telling him the new Echo poster. Oh, poster. yeah. She's like, you know, you can fucking read, right? <laughs> you no, know, we're, we're fucking deaf, not blind. Dude. It's just that, that this, but every time they try to fucking... Cater. Cater, they just step right on I would say, head. fucking Disney is swinging for the fences on these, man. Oh, man. <laughs> it's like, fucking idiots. I know, I was waiting for Riona to <laughs> Because I'm like, this will be the perfect one right here. These guys are so stupid. I mean, holy smokes, man. As, as Illidan said in Warcraft 3, I'm blind, not deaf. <laughs> I'm like reversed. And I said, no, Rihanna, the woke agenda said you cannot read, so you cannot read. Quit talking about it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Jesus. Well, damn, we've got ten of them done. I told you. No, I'm kidding. I fucking Knock still working out. on this person. This only is third one. It ain't bullshit. No, I'm working on this one. The other ones don't count. That's just for reference. <laughs> the other ones don't count. What the fuck does that mean? Hey, look. I found somebody that has more than me. Kylo has 60. What? Yep. Why? Why? Can't even field that. Uh, he could if he played uh, Titan, uh, like a Titan battle. Against who? <laughs> People with Titans. <laughs> Fucking where? Uh, where? There's England. There's like fucking five people on the planet with that much shit. You're one of them. <laughs> Four of them are, are Badger. <laughs> Four of them are me. <laughs> well, I mean, he's got more tight or more Imperial Knights than I do. That's for sure. Well, that'd be a hell of a battle. Nothing but Guardsmen versus nothing but Titans. He said, "I'm so glad I don't have to put any more together." And I was like. How many do you have? And he said 60. And I was like, oh my god, was that commissions or yours? And he's like, mine, com competitively. He knocked him out in a weekend, so. Yeah, I know that didn't happen. <laughs> he painted him, stripped him, and painted him again. The time you've been fucking around with too. Oh, jeez. With all these fucking magnets. How do they I work? I was just going to say, I was thinking of drinking liquid. How do they work? Uh, I'll be in a good grandson decided he wants to start reading Warhammer lore. Oh, no. Well, okay, so then he's I not learned. a real fan. I learned that today. A, yeah, I learned that today, too. Yeah, you need to tell him, listen, you're just a tourist. Oh, no, he's, he's building, too, so he's oh, one up fuck. on me. He's one up on me. Yeah, but he doesn't have enough. 
That'll be that'll be the next argument. If you don't have two thousand points or more, you're you're a tourist. Uh, I've got a Kindle that I don't use, so I'm loading it with Warhammer shit. Oh boy. And uh, I'm going to send it to him. Nice. Hey, somebody's got to be the cool grandpa, man. Right? I hear that. I got my son, Warhammer TV. Oh, I already did. I sent. I probably shouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> yeah. You get Netflixed. <laughs> I fucking did Warhammer Police and kicked my door in. No, nah, it's bad as scream. They'll just swat him. This, this would be the wrong house for that. Yeah, they have to get past the landmines first. And the dogs. He fuck, I'm going to say he opens the fucking kennels, man, and it's all over. Well, especially with Rhino and Hera. Oh, my God. Yeah, now's your time, buddy. I'm not going to yell at you this time. Do, you do your thing. Eat their ass. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you got named Alex Jones? Uh, I don't, but that's <laughs> funny. He said eat their ass. I gotta, I gotta buy that game. I gotta buy that fucking game. Play it, stream it or something. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Dude, I fucking... I really wanted to continue going off on Destiny, but I was like, nah. Dude's not gonna hear anything I have to say. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I was gonna say you're screaming into the void. Yeah, he was getting lit up by a lot of people anyway. What she probably yeah. wanted. That's his life. Hold on. He I'll be back. Was long and dick, and wow, <laughs> dude. So I had you guys muted, and I forgot that. I mean, not you guys, but me muted. <laughs> and uh, we were muted. well, you were you were muted for the freaking stream, that's for sure. And then as soon as I, as soon as I unmuted, it's all you hear is long and dick. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Drink that's coming out, Dick Insider? Yeah. <laughs> what was the, um, gosh, we were talking about something like that the other day, weren't we? I think it was seven Yeah. Did you guys see the little meme I made with Gwen Stefani? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a tourist. I'm just a tourist. Like I said, for her dipping her toe into this, that would be really dumb. Yeah. And, and attacking Frostfire. Like who? Discourse. Discourse, Discourse Minis. Minis. Or dis Dungeons and Discourse, whatever she's called now. She, she went after fucking Frostfire about, you know, I don't know what's wrong with you people who can't be bothered to build Minis, you know? Stand by. I knew I didn't like her. I, yeah. I thought it was the other guy. But, uh, yeah, I see her on fucking YouTube all the time. I don't know if... You ain't missing shit. She's a fucking they, that man, if I've ever seen one. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way, but I look at her in just pure confusion. 
Like, remember that fucking Saturday Night Live Pam skit they used to have? Yes. Yeah, that is... That is fucking her. Like, her voice is weird. Her face is weird. Everything about her is fucking, like, Uncanny Valley. Maybe she's an alien. I don't know. But, um, basically, she, we got she's like, I don't know what's wrong with these people, you until know. 7 a.m. Why they don't tomorrow? just build things. We got a flood warning cool? until 7 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, read the fucking thread he told everyone why. Well, we <laughs> well, are you going to write a counter thread? You might want to call the school. Oh, she's, she's talk I to think him. she's trying. She's picking a side. Oh, you're getting ready to pick him up anyway, Joe right? I think I she's going to be there. Side. Well, I'm glad she chose the right side. Okay. The right, right side. Hey, get out of here. Come on. Where I can show yeah, than over here where I have to tolerate Sorry about that noise, guys. That's a flood warning. Oh, yeah, it's no problem. Stay safe. Oh, I'm on a mountain for that reason. I put uh, 50 yeah, gallons uh, on my top We've got, uh, we got some shitty weather under our way there. Yeah, I, apparently it's already here. Uh, it's already here. Uh, it's already here. Uh, it's already here. Uh, yeah, apparently it's already here. Uh, I know up in Fernando County they uh, closed schools for the day. And the center of it is blood red. Oh, I ain't mean, they're afraid of a storm, though. Well, they're predicting high winds, tornadoes, uh, lightning, tornadoes, hell, hell, fight. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, this brimstone. Is I'm like, is it a hurricane? No, no. Is it a tropical storm? No, no. Just a cold front. They said it could hit tropical storm winds. It's just the warp coming in. The eye of terror here's, is opening. Here's what drives me nuts. I've gone to school in a tropical storm. Yeah. <laughs> Like, after the first hurricane of the season hits, all of the rest of them, if they're not four or five, are like, yeah, whatever, go to school. It's just rain. And you're like, no, but it's a hurricane. The tropical storm rolls in first time in the year. Oh, my God, everyone fucking panics. Yeah. So a storm that's not even as strong as a hurricane rolls in, everyone's like, cancel. Cancel school. No one's going to school today. They could get wet. Well, what was the, uh... the gate. I was uh, first round in Korea, the fucking typhoon. I have no idea what to expect. And you grew up in Montana. What the fuck do I know about a typhoon? All right. Oh, shit, that son of a bitch. For everybody that doesn't know, we are streaming if you didn't want to be on here. Hi, right, guys. What's hey. up, Bailiff? Um, M3TR0N01D Hobby Lounge. <laughs> yeah. Greetings. Fucking metronomies. Hey man, did oh, you make it across the border yet? <laughs> What's again? Did you make it across the border yet, Metronoid? Well, not yet, cabron. I'm still working on it. Eh? <laughs> look, I know I got me look, look, I know I'm Mexican, cabron, but for fuck's sake, eh? Well, I can only get you just go from Mexican border, to Canadian. I know, right, dude? What happened? Right over the US. Dude, I fucking did. <laughs> My God, that's the that's a pinchy gringo in me, don't you know? <laughs> He said he's still swimming. Go to Dean Holzer. I think I finally kicked my stomach bug. I've been thrown up for the past goddamn week. I know. Metro answer to closing the borders. <laughs> we just turned the U.S. into a flyover. Right, <laughs> Metronoid. If you feel like getting into Discord, by all means, jump in. If it's easier. So, yeah, come on yeah. in. Yeah, yeah on, water's warm and yeah. oddly yellow. Oh, <laughs> some heat in it again. Oh, uh, come on! Yeah. I thought we said we we're gonna get that pink, cloudy shit that happens when you. Oh, is um, <laughs> does Metronoid have your server information? I know he has. Uh, I, I don't know. We're friends. I. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen that. I told you to get that bladder infection checked out. I know. How do you do it? <laughs> I did, but your mom. It, hey, shoot it over to him if you don't mind. Hey, you put you this, my uh, out of this shit son of a bitch. No, that's just what my key looks like. Oh my god. <laughs> this stream went <laughs> off the rails. <laughs> this stream went <laughs> off the rails. Welcome to Angry Bad for Minis. Uh, this is your host Dan. Uh, today we're going to uh, assemble 
15 uh, Imperial Knights back to back, no rest until completion. What? And no sleep till broke. Wait, That's what? Right. <laughs> That's right. Marathon mode, here we go. Oh my god. Alright. Oh god, we can't do a 24 here, man. Yeah, Come on. I don't even think my. to be 48 and 24, we'll do it. I don't even think my I'm phone will last that long. Now. Oh my god. Alright, so we're gonna need to pump Badger up with some caffeine <laughs> and uh, probably give him some kind of ibuprofen to keep his hands spry. And an IV. <laughs> I'm gonna have to raise you times one Badger's life because I know the missus is not gonna go for that. There's no, no way in hell. No. I have to like, listen, it's, it's just one day of his life. One oh boy. 24 hour. It would be the last life. day. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Did <laughs> you see? You see, we know. Badger, Badger, you and I know. We we already know if we did this shit, we're going to get our asses kicked. I mean, think about it. Did, did the uh, fucking hobbits oh, take no. their no. get in the mortar? Hang on, boys. Give me a second. This, this is your ring. Did the U.S. give up when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? Hell no. Um, I don't Those know about damn that. shifty Germans. Let's see. Metronaut, I'm going to send you this link through uh, water. Water. This is awesome. Having everybody here. Like a family. Right? So, like friends, only demented. Weezy was here for five minutes. <laughs> I think he bailed on me. 3TR0 and 01D Hobby Lounge. I've got more hot takes, if you don't mind the sounds of the Rio Grande. <laughs> of course, man. Yeah, I want to get another fucking piece in this house. It's okay, so God. Send you the, uh, send you the link. I try. You need that shit in Spanish, or? <laughs> He's the real Spanish. Discourse minis. What? The f Man, what the fuck? Well, you know, they, they've got to, um, I guess they them felt like they had to pick a side. Well, and here's the thing. I mean, no, nothing on Frost, obviously, but Frost is not even in the same ballpark as Discourse, right? As far as, like, no. followers and things like that. It's always easy to punch down. Like, clearly. <laughs> clearly. It's always easier to go out to the little guy. Yeah, that was welcome. Absolute Great, garbage. Guy. Hey, there he is. That's why Fitz and his boyfriends think it's cool that they can hammer down on anybody that's got lower follower count than them. <laughs> oh, you're right, right. Jokes on them. Look I'm followed by several million porn bots. Yeah, it's already important bots. Yes, I have an army of porn bots. Fuck around, around and find out. That's right. I'm like telling you, they're there. You don't see them. You're looking at my measly little 300 follower count. No, they're there. Waiting in the shadows. <laughs> waiting to strike. The one that you least expect it. That's right. That was the best was the other day. <laughs> Guys, I don't understand what you're saying. Porn bot liked it. <coughs> see, the porn bot liked it. That's <laughs> your problem. <laughs> Aha, see, there they are. They're hiding in the background. Right. You idiots, you have no idea. They're going to give you all the viruses. Oh, the best is like when one likes one, or likes something I said like six months ago that I completely forgot even happened. And I'm like, what? And then it like brings back a whole rush of memories. Like, oh, yeah. It's like, oh, was son was. of a bitch, I remember that one. Yeah, holy shit, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. What are you doing, doggo? I don't want to hear that. Well, uh, bark. Bark. Whoa, oh, that reminds me. I want to sell my No, she just came over like, I don't know. Bark. Mm. I knew that guy was a tool bag. <laughs> can't throw it in the dog. Get him, get him, get him, get him. War! War! Get that motherfucker! <clears throat> well, remember, we're in here plotting. That's what we do, right? Yes. 
I mean, we are all yeah. just in some ways. Isn't that what they said? We we go into Discord and we plot how to come after them. Uh, oh yeah, we have a whole Reddit thread. Of yeah. How to best combat that? All right, guys. It's nearly around. impossible to. Well, this this is your this is your patrol order. Well, I'm, I'm in a fight with fucking Porkins on Twitter. Porkins. <laughs> I'd like to see you try it. Dude, okay. Like, bro, you, you you freaking have a heart attack coming out the steps of your mom's house to come see me. Hell, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Yep. Yeah, that's what we call a fucking ratio, boys. Right. You got ripped. Somebody sent me an actual yeah. message. What's that? Yeah. I don't get that. The, that's not the term we're using. No, I don't think so. I no, think fuck. So. I thought he likes getting ran the fucking weirdo. Oh man. Oh, this is about my warhound titan. What? Hell yeah, dude. Well, I'm very happy. <laughs> so, you know what you have in your survival games, like if you have like Daisy, you think of whatever survival game you want. You find one specific item. There's one item that every time you pick up, it's a rare item, you are guaranteed to die, right? No matter how many times you picked it up. No, no, it's when you enter a room and there's a lot of health stuff and ammo. Like, well, that's oh. that's boss fight. This is a completely different concept. Right. So in survival games, there's a specific rare item that every person gets that they are guaranteed 100% to die with. For my buddy in DayZ, it was the Mountain Dew can, right? All right. For the old Army 2 DayZ. For me, in Tarkov, it's the Labs key card on a scab. Every time I spawn with a lapse key card on a scab raid, I am guaranteed to die that raid because I have yet to extract with one. However, I have broken the curse yesterday. I extracted with one. <laughs> no, they just let you have one. They you have a your bench security, yeah. They're going to go back in there. They're like, nah, the bullying begins again. <laughs> yes, exactly. The forbidden item. It's like, Okay, you can have it this one time because you shot this one dude with an AS Val who didn't get the drop on you and you got a lucky shot with a shotgun. Okay, we'll let you have this raid. Right, back in the locker with you. <laughs> Wait for it, I'm gonna spawn with one. Back in the room. Wait for it. Sure. Wait for it. Oh, I didn't spawn with one. <clears throat> I'm actually kind of sad. You know, Ray, what the hell is that freaking model, Dan? What? I tell you what, in the is hell, that Bobby, is that who it is? I'll tell you, Bobby, quick. What is that? It is, it is, better quit quacking off of my tools shit. It is. What it the is, fuck that is, is that? Rate, that is, is that him? Powered flamer. Is that really him? That's badass. Yes, they kill. <laughs> no shit. Fucking. I tell you what. I'm about sick of these orcs. What in the oh, hell? Shit. What in the hell? <laughs> if you weren't my son, I'd hug you. <laughs> Turn it on, it's Bobby. <laughs> it's the only way to be sure. <laughs> Jeez, man, that's fucking cool, though. Yeah. That's hobbying right there, man. I know. That's when you're like, shit, what am I going to do with these Space Marine models? Well, shit, 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 shit. I, them all like for Marines. Marines. I could give them to my friend, or, or, hold on, I could make the King of the Hill kill team. Boom All he needs is he yeah. needs him. He needs Homer Simpson, and he'd be in there. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, uh, you need the guy from uh, American Dad. And, yeah, or Family Stan guy. Smith. Oh, and both, both. Yeah. And and Peter. Yeah, you need Stan and Peter. And then you have a cheer of of uh, uh, Stewie. Oh, and also make sure he's got at least one in a, in a wheelchair, so it's equitable. Oh, oh yeah. with Joe, you gotta have Joe. Yeah, you gotta have Joe. Get what's his name? Yeah, uh, the Indian dude from the Simpkins. Simpkins. Oh, 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 oh Simpkins. <laughs> yeah, that's my fucking sickness. Oh, what is that? No, um, 
You gotta have Cleveland Brown. He just looks at everything and goes, oh, that's nasty. nasty. <laughs> oh, hell no. That's nasty. <laughs> One black space ring. <laughs> so, so Metronor, did you see this Man, thing with... Man, you're doing that because it's token. Knock that shit off. Did you see this thing with Discourse Minis? Yeah, I saw it. I'm, I, I, I watched some Discourse when she started and it was cringe back then. Cringe now and when she's pivoted to a broader content and we just blow a little bit. So. Oh, man. I mean, her sucking off Joe Cat is like, you're not going to get his followers, okay? So I'm sure that I probably already know your take on this, but I am curious. Because as I kind of started the stream, I was all fucking pissed off um, about yeah. about this. Uh, if you don't have minis, you know you're too poor to have minis and all this stuff. You're not really a fan of the hobby and all that kind of shit. Yeah, and it's fucking bullshit. I remember <clears throat> when uh, I transitioned from uh, classic model building to Games Workshop products, and and for a good. Three, three or four years, the majority, since I was a high school student, I didn't have much money, plus I'm in Eastern Europe, so the conversion rate is shit anyways. Right. Uh, so it was about half, six months, six to eight months, uh, when I saved up enough to buy one box of Marines. Uh, so for a majority of the time, uh, my primary form of engagement was uh, strolling the local forums and playing the Dawn of War games. Dawn of War, Winter Assault, uh, Dark Crusade and Soulstorm. Nice. So anybody who says that, no, if you don't have a set amount of minis, if you, if you don't paint, you don't play, you are not a... You are not in this. Uh, you are not interested in Warhammer, and you are not a not a fan, not not engaged with the hobby. It's fucking full of shit. They're full of shit, yeah. And we're stunned. And just saying this. This means by this same logic, you are not a football fan if you are not on the field playing the game. Right. Right. With with the bright lights and not just not just with the, with the friends. Right. You are not a you are not a base basketball fan when you are not on the court playing the game with the big black black dudes. I was gonna say you're not a basketball fan if you're not black. No, you're not a basketball player if you're not Kobe Bryant actually on the fucking field. Uh, or wedged into a fucking side of the mountain. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what was uh? See that? What was it he wanted to bring up? I guess Wheezy didn't. I don't know if he was gonna even bother approaching oh. that subject. I remember now. God damn, I, I hate life being like this. Right. Same with me. Just trying to find topics to talk about while I'm not while I'm boring everybody with plastic. All right, let's talk about fish and chips. What? Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's talk about the emotional damage. Emotional damage. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you. I, I can tell you emotional damage if you want. Okay. There is a pretty, pretty sweet. There was a pretty sweet game produced by a small boutique, a French company in the 2010s, and in 2015 I think they went under, and the minis just vanished off the earth, of the face of the earth. It was a pretty, uh, it was one of the most inventive uh, and interesting post-apocalyptic setting. Uh, the game, the name of the game was Aiden the Game, it was produced by Taban, and uh, one of the factions that you are going to love was called the Matriarchy, and it had BDSM sisters, Whoa. and Gimp mans and gimp ma and men in gimp suits. Slim, Wait, work, no. is, is Slim, that, is that man's keyboard? Slim, get your hand out of your pants. <laughs> and there were the other faction was uh, jokers. It was circus clowns, 
uh, ISC, uh, big scary uh, Japanese team robots. There was Caravan, it was a Mad Max style uh, survivalist gang, and uh, Bomo uh, Bomoko, I think. Uh, and it was uh, tribal African, it had tribal African vibes. The minis, the minis again, fantastically looking, uh, absolutely gorgeous, and uh, and the game just went on there because uh, they expanded too fast and uh, and, and too wide. I think it's too realistic. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know that precisely. <laughs> That's why I just I failed. The matriarchy was too real. Hmm. I don't know the the sisters with nipple tassels in bikinis uh, wielding big fucking chainsaws and swords, plus the plus the gimps, dogman and yeah, oh. there was two two models called dogman and it was uh, men's on all fours in leather gimp suits crawling. So oh, so like today. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. So, it, it, and uh, it was bought up by another company, I think, and they went on there as well. And none of the, and nowhere can I find minis for this game, but I want to. I really want to. Dan's got. You've probably already seen it though, but um, Dan has a site that had some really awesome sisters and stuff. Proxies. Oh, Raging Heroes? Yeah. You seen yeah, that? Oh my god. Yeah. I heard about them that it's uh, the Raging Heroes minis are a bitch to put together. And, oh, really? Uh, many co many commission painters charge extra for, oh, yeah? for those kind of models. Yes, because they are that finicky and uh, pain to work with. Hmm. But they are looking good, and I, I, I remember when the Raging Heroes, the first Kickstarters, uh, went out, and there were werewolf with tits and and such, and it was all the rage. Slim just comes back in just in time for werewolf with tits. Yep. yep. Oh, timing. Every uh, time. Impeccable Every time. timing. I got to get going, so I will talk to you guys later. Alright, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> or something. Hey, got all I'll all these fools on here, and nobody's oh, clicked gosh. the fucking like button. You fuckers. Yeah, not one of us. None of us are gonna like the video. Ever. I like the video. Badger. I thought I liked it in real life. Oh, okay. <laughs> you gotta have that fake engagement, boys. That's right. Remember, we gotta we gotta cheat the YouTube system. Talk about finicky putting these handrails on. <clears throat> These things are pain in the ass. Handrails are just by design a pain in the ass. But they do look good. Oh crap. Almost dropped it on the floor. That would have been great. Shit. Yeah, pretty much. And I left my tweezers downstairs, so that sucks. Well, that's always fun. Uh, those handrails. No, yeah, that's... yeah, these handrails. They're, uh... Yeah, they suck. <laughs> yes. Can't say I have the pleasure yet, but maybe one day, we'll see. Well, Tourist. after this guy, there's only 14 more nights to put together. <laughs> that's all that's left. Well, I mean, uh, this. All, all of them the same bigger one or various sizes? Uh, they're all this um, Lancer but slash this. Warden style. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Um, the one that they tried to make look like a... Emperor. Oh, yeah, man. the big one. Yeah. And the smaller, you have smaller ones, the army guards? Uh, no. No, I didn't buy any of those. I don't like the way they look either. 
Now I have them for Adeptus Titanicus, but oh my God, you, you are gonna do that to me, aren't you? So. Man, you want in on this? See that? He's <laughs> like, fuck no. No, I'm still fighting this Kindle, man. I got all I can handle. Her is 122. Her's 121. Yeah, see that? Have you have you found the uh, books I mentioned last time? Yeah, I have them all. I have your list. I've just got to. I'm going to finish up Brother of the Snake and then probably mm -hmm. start picking through those. But yeah, I I hadn't even realized I had downloaded all the. Space Marine Battle Books. So I had them. It's just going then through finding find those exact ones. Yeah. You are you are at a good place to start. The the one, the Architect of Fate. It's uh, I'm mixed on it. It's it has good stories, bad uh, and mediocre stories. But overall, it's good. But it's not something I would recommend to. To get a feel for the Marines and and in general, the setting, it just just some light entertainment, just some filler. Well, I know Badger's been looking for uh, ultramarine stories. I'll stab you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. Then again, Temple and Institute well, says they're all females, so there's that. Well, did he? The space from the Space Marine Battle series, the Don the stories that deal with Donnos, the fall of Donnos, are pretty good. So even if you don't like the Ultramarines, and I don't like them, it's uh, it's a really good read. You won't like them. Yeah, well, well, okay. I, I neither well, like them nor dislike them. It's kind of like being mad at vanilla pudding. <laughs> you know, there, are, there, there is a method about there, so somebody likes them. You know, can you and really say you hate vanilla ice cream? No. No. Unless, like unless, it, just unless you food. tell me vanilla versus vanilla bean. Oh. Right. But then it's not a like or dislike. It's just that I'll choose this one over that one. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the high class escort versus the... One on the street corner. <laughs> Cracko. Cracko, yeah. <laughs> crack at it. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, I remember the 5th edition codex, the Fall of Domnos was pretty detailed in there, and uh, even though uh, Sicarius and uh, Tigurius are pretty cookie cutter in other stories, in these they have some somewhat of a personality. And uh, the show, the show stealer is uh, is the dreadnought Agrippa. That's and uh, and he has a pretty badass way of going out in the end. So that was good to read. And uh, also, Antarochronus is uh, has, has has a cameo as well. So all the named uh, Ultramarine characters, aside from Marnius Kagar, are in there and have. But Marnius is awesome. You know, I actually have him now as a uh, Primaris Marine. It came in that Imperium magazine description. I had no idea. Yeah, I read his comic book. He's awesome. Oh, here we go. You don't have any models. You're not a fan. This fucking guy. Hmm. Hey, you don't have models. You're not a fan. It's like, uh, that's cute. Just post the uh, thing that everybody else does of showing how to engage in the games workshop. I'd be like, Fuck. I did. Oh, they... no. There was some idiot that was arguing that saying, uh, you know, if you read it a certain way. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a certain way. Nope. That's it, it's, uh, yeah, it, it, it's only the modeling. Everything else is just. Well, and things. he quotes exactly what they're saying. When they say everything from the tabletop, that, what does that, what does everything from mean, you moron? I mean, oh, God. But I mean, why, why is it so important to, to, to defend that? Why, know, why is it so important to that? say you're not a true fan because you don't have That's models? Like, That's why well, you don't have money, so you're not a true fan. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's not even a fact of money. It's like, okay, where would I rather spend the money I have? No! You know? <laughs> I'd rather buy books, video games, you know, stuff like that. 
I think when I'm finally done with all this stuff, you know, when I'm 140, um, I'm going to uh, do a Space Marine battle in a bottle. Oh, that would be cool. But I'm going to cheat. I'm going to do it on epic scale. <laughs> so I have to put nothing together. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I've been thinking about it, though. Because I thought, well, on my bucket list was to build a ship in a bottle. But I was like, man, that's boring. What am I going to do with that? I'll fill up the bottle. Do what? Put water in it, make it an underwater battle. <laughs> Against the towel, most certainly. Let's hold them underwater. But <laughs> whoa. Jeez. Bam. With this economy, I get all my models from eBay, 3D artists, and Reddit mini swap. I hear that. Yeah, well, that's a uh, very good, very good strategy because, oh, uh, yeah. unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately, any opened kit that's not uh, out of print immediately goes for two, two third or, or less, since. It's not new. It's not on the not on not on the shelf. Right. At least uh, here in, in in Europe, it does. Well, I think the only people you might even be able to sell it to, mo or I'll say most of the people that would buy it would be tournament meta players that are just looking for cheap shit. Uh no, I I know those guys, or I used to know them, and. Uh, when the new codex, new codex, and the new netlist, and the new hotness came out, uh, they were the first to buy up all the inventory. Oh, well, they actually Put buy and assemble. Hmm? They actually buy and assemble. Uh, yes, assemble and uh, play it in uh, glorious uh, gray plastic. Oh. And when, and when the switch comes, pass it along. Uh. Or pennies on the dollar. So I knew a guy. I knew a guy who started with uh, no, fifth edition uh, Imperial Guard. Then came uh, Space Wolf. Then end of fifth edition first Dark Eldar. Then Necrons. Always the hot pennies. It was really fun. That is why I dipped out of uh, 40k. I feel like I was telling C that <clears throat> I feel like they're lining us up. Dare I say for what we always argue against, lest it rear its ugly head in the books because of Dan Abnett's interview. I'm really disappointed by it. I missed that interview. What did he say? Is he going to try and canonize the you-know-what? I didn't say that specifically, but he, in the first 30 seconds, he said every basically anything can change. Or we I need. don't like that. And that that the um, even though the Horus Heresy is ending, it leaves a lot. It says it leaves it open for a lot more to be added. Yes. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Oh, fucking the other, because we, it's, it's creative, I think, it's just a paycheck he's looking for. <laughs> yep. But I think, how can you add, because we have a rather fixed timeline. After the heresy, the scouring, then uh, some law. The second, the the second the scouring, the scouring, all that stuff, yeah. Yes, 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 and then the... Battle of the Beast, which was a shit show, I think. It was rushed, it was not mapped out, and uh, it was all over the place. And after that, uh, we have the Grain of Blood with Coke Van Deer. No, sorry, that was in the Beast series. Uh, that was covered in the Beast series. We have uh, Nova Terra Interregnum, we have uh, Sebastian Thor, uh, we have a First Tyrannic War. We have Adab, we have the first War of Armageddon, the second War of Armageddon, the third War of Armageddon. What? 
I know that the uh, the Imperium is a, and the galaxy is a big Damn. place. Age but, of uh, apostasy. Yeah. Well, I mean, I maybe they figure nobody really cares about any of that. And they'll yeah, just blow right by it. As well. Well, well, then they're just going to drive drive their IP, IP into the ground, so... Oh, good luck to that. Yeah. Because... I don't know, I'm starting to not lose faith, but... Uh, I think uh, we have to start uh, keeping the writers at arm's length, yep. I think. Because... Yeah. Uh, how can I say this? Uh, without denigrating their work, because uh, if somebody wrote something magnificent 20 years ago and today he tucks on uh, a horse story or a, or a novella to the same story, it's not going to be the same. And uh, if he or she has present day sensibilities, it immediately dates and uh, degrades the work. Yeah. I agree. I think, well, I told C that, and I don't want it to be this way, but my gut tells me we got 10 years left and it's over. Yeah. I think you're right. 10 years sounds about right. I mean, see and that what, they are going to fold or just settle the IP <clears throat> to the highest bidder. I think. To the oh my gosh, oh. dude! I'm gonna unplug this thing. Oh, stuff just got glitchy there. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I got a radio that tells me, you know, when things happen. Oh, uh, you got your scanner on right now? Well, it's it's just a, a weather radio. All right. So, but um, anyway, so see that brought up, and he's I mean he's got a pretty valid point. I just think young people are too lazy for anything, or too fickle. Maybe is the right word. Um, he's thinking that GW might just go all. Uh, video games and things like that or they uh, might. What, what did you say see that uh, virtual virtual that's it so I think it's a pretty valid point I just don't know that I don't know I, I if you look at how much people play video games and then they get pissed off at it and stuff like that and I can't speak to the whole D and D thing—that's that's all. See that, but I just don't—I don't see it taking hold. Hmm. Anybody hear me? Yeah, oh, okay. I, I heard you. Oh, okay, I'm um, just thinking. I didn't know if my mic cut out. Well, I think this would stop if uh, if GW. Would start would stop uh, chasing that. Well, that younger audience that doesn't exist. Right. Because uh, they, well, pretty much uh, declode the demons and uh, de declode the setting. Uh, in some aspects, dial back the. Actually, to die, die back the demon at boobs and uh, and the likes because uh, they were pushing for the under 18 market to and and those kids who do they pass to to get the latest 
games with a plastic crack, their parents. And those parents are not going to buy, I don't know, uh, demon heads with six tits. <laughs> they are going to buy demon heads with uh, funky hair and uh, and shit body art. Right. So if if they would stop. I, I don't think they are going to stop because uh, they're just looking for continuous growth and uh, and share all their value. But uh, if they would go back to not the roots of the setting, but uh, make the but put back the grim dark into the setting, it would still be viable and it would still be uh, a valid business model. But they need to change as well because uh, in present day and age it is not sustainable that one edition one edition of your game lives i don't know four or <coughs> five years and in that time uh, they pump out code codices for half the factions the other half gets left behind and uh, in the meantime bloating the space marine faction uh, with double or triple releases triple the releases the other the other fraction combined get and uh, they need to they need need to redo their uh, production and development pipeline mm -hmm. and then it, it would work and uh, it would be viable for a long time and on the long run I feel like it I mean I have no way of proving this but I feel like most of the high-end shareholders could give two shits about anything but making money and that's why we're where we are and that's why I yes, think you're... they're looking at the market in the economy going okay well people aren't going to be able to afford this you know if we keep going up so I'm going to make my money while I can and then I'm going to bail well that's shareholder capitalism for you they you can pretty much guarantee that that is the mindset that they are looking only at the charts that the stock price is going up and going up and going up and nothing else matters. And CDAP brought up a good point where he said he thought that um, they're just waiting for the old guard, you know, the guys who made this game to just die so they can really ramp up, you know, what they want to do. Which is corporate wokeism. Right. I mean, those guys are basically collecting a paycheck and hanging out at the pub, so to speak. Not that I'm faulting them for that, but I guess that's... No, it's, it's a very good paycheck, so... <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, that's... But I mean, I, I wonder if they're not sitting there going, well, wait a minute, if, this is, if my retirement and everything is contingent upon my survival, that could be a problem. I resigned myself to me buying these models when I did and being involved in this hobby or whatever. Oh my gosh, dude, you gotta be kidding me. Um, so Mike is acting up again. No, that was a phone call. Yeah, okay. Because I was stupid and didn't put my phone on silent or vibrate or whatever. But, um,. Yeah, I just feel, I mean, I resigned myself to that I probably would never get a chance to play again except with my kids if they want to when they get older. And resorting to solo battles slash battle reports that maybe I could just do on YouTube for the fun of it. Because I've tried to play with people around here. And of course, most of them are younger than me. And they are serious tryhards that they cannot lose, let me tell you that. They, they cannot leave. And that's unfortunate. Oh, oh I know that mindset. Uh, when I was... When in 4th and 5th edition, I was always uh, building lists around, well, fluff. And what was fluffy, what was... Uh, what looked good on the table and what... Uh, what made sense for right. the setting. And... And in the club, we had uh, we had a rule that uh, if you want to play fluffy uh, fluffy army, you can. It's not it, it wasn't a rule. It was uh, it was a smaller community within the, within the club, 
that uh, we played these uh, these fluffy battles. Yeah, there were uh, mission objectives, but uh, we were just going at it, and uh, last one standing won usually. You just need to find somebody or 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 more somebody to to play this either to through the internet to battle scribe or something like that or or in person because yes the power gamers they are not fun to play against and and we were organizing uh, and when we were organizing our battles there were always uh, guys coming in uh, with uh, net lists and uh, we always politely declined them that sorry we are not interested in getting our kick teeth kicked in with your latest net list right and here i am building knights <laughs> no, I well, get it. it can it can be fluffy it can be uh, it can be modeled after molech or i don't know and you can face a legion or something like that. So, it can, if the fluff is there, it can be good for everybody. Just, just need to have that mindset that I'm there to have a good time, and I'm not there to necessarily win a game. Right. Spending yeah. quality time is a win in itself, I think. I think we're, I hate to say it this way, but I think we're past that with most of the young crowd. There has to be some level of status because of the rampant and literal plague of narcissism. But that's just me. It's, it's really, I don't know, and it might just be in my area. I don't care if I win or lose, I just... And I haven't played a game in a long time. I just look back to that one game I played about an hour from here. And, oh boy, even when I shook the guy's, or tried to shake the guy's hand, you know, because he was just being a, a cheater, basically. Or wanting to cheat. And I don't know if I told you guys. So, long and short of it, second turn of the game, he had whatever the big Space Wolves flyer is. I have one, I can just never remember the name of it. Oh, what the, is the chapter yeah, master? The, yeah, no, the, the knockoff Cestus, uh, Cestus Assault Ram. Yeah, it, it's it's a, it's a, looks like a... It's a knockoff, knockoff of the Assault Ram, yeah. Yeah, I know that. so he had one of those, and he had a fully Primaris army, and it was straight up Metalist off of eBay. My army's Salamanders that were built in 2003, completely painted. Not that that really matters, but his army wasn't. Actually, I don't think, I think it was primed in a few wannabe colors here and there, but um, he had this thing, you know. I, I mean, it was clear to me that he bought it off eBay. There's no way he put this crap together. Um, but, uh, I mean, I built that army in 2003. It's never lost because I know that army, and I know what it can do, you know, and it's just firstborn. There's... But it's a very well-rounded army. It's got almost every option you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, even, you know, people say, oh, you know, why would you take bikes? They're a great distraction if you know how to do it, you know, psychologically on the table and recovering or getting objectives, blah, blah. And I had one drop pod. And that drop pod, when it came in, was probably what started the entirety of his frustration because he had a plan. I guess, and when that drop pod came in out of nowhere and landed, you know, basically behind his lines, and a full squad of, you know, tactical marines got out, you know, multi-melta, I'm sorry, multi-melta, melta gun, heavy bolter, you know, and bolters, and the drop pod cool. had storm bolters, you know, because I'm not going to take missiles, I mean, there's no point, and, uh, and it, I mean, I had some pretty decent dice rolls and it just wiped out, you know. I mean, now this is back when Firstborn only had one wound, you know, and the Primaris had two. And it wiped out one of his squads and he was pissed. Well, <laughs> I guess that's why he got pissed. So he forgot. Now, I didn't know this, like I wasn't really paying attention, but he forgot to fire with that ship. Well, we got to turn four, I believe it was. Or maybe it was the bottom of, or 
Yeah, the bottom of turn five. Yeah, it was bottom of turn five. And he goes, hey, I forgot to shoot with this thing back in the second turn. Do you care if I shoot with it now? And I'm like, no, nah, I can't. I can't let you do that. You know, because I mean, you've already advanced all the way around the board, all this kind of stuff, you know. And now yeah, you want yeah. two rounds of shooting at my guys. And he was like, oh, this, he, this is bullshit, blah, 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 this and that. And I put my tape measure in my box, and I looked at my watch, and I stuck my hand out and said, hey, man, you know what? Good game, you win. You know, and or as he took my hand, I said, good game, you win. And he snatched his hand back, and he's like, that's bullshit. And I'm like, well, have a nice day, man. Packed my shit up, and I left. And I've never played another game since. You know? That was just a really, really solid loser. Fucking baby. I mean, yeah. But, but you are you are absolutely correct that uh, it was either a net it was either a net list or he bought it off eBay and didn't know his army. Bam. Yeah. And I always and sneak a bottle into tournaments. Alcohol equals a good time, no matter how try hard your <laughs> opponent is. But then again, I'm a happy drunk. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> What do you got? You got an Aquila on your freaking flask? <laughs> Hell yeah. That'd be awesome. It, it is a good thing when, when it's a convention and uh, you have the accumulation above you, but when you have to drive, it's, it's, it can be scary. Oh yeah. Well, and for me to go to these places too, I mean, I don't drink anyway, but that's just me. Um, mm -hmm. I have, you know, it's a long way for me to go, so I ride a motorcycle. I pack everything up in a duffel bag, and then I put it on the back, and I go. Mm -hmm. And it's still a long ride, and it's just like, man. That's a hell of a ride. I yeah. drove all the way down here for this, you know? And it's just, you know, it's not really worth it. And I and I, and I know all the time and work it goes into running a gaming club and stuff, because they have a store here in town, but nobody plays 40K, even though they have a... Well, I won't say they have a decent slide. They they carry all like the new stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, but I never really see anybody buy it. And I mean, we're talking months and months and months. And they're selling everything at the same price Games Workshop is selling it for. So already, Ooh, I'm like, dude. Problem. Yeah, I'm like, dude. You're you're in a college town. These kids are going to a, a law university. They don't have that much money. I mean, they're doing what they can just to pay for the tuition. And, you know, same with VMI and stuff. And they don't have that much time anyway. So all you really see in there mm -hmm. is, like, people playing D&D &D and stuff, maybe. And they've got, oh, my God, the amount of D&D &D miniatures they've got. I didn't even know that shit existed. There, there's got to be five or six hundred different ones in there. It's like an yeah, entire wall. Time. Yeah, it's crazy. I, did, I, I honestly, I mean, I, I don't know shit about D&D, &D, but I honestly thought it was kind of like, you know, six or seven characters. <laughs> But no, they got everything, all the all the enemies and everything. But I thought about trying. They got a Discord and stuff, and I thought about trying to see if you know once I got all my stuff squared away, if people would like to, you know, start up a little club and or even come over here or something like that. But I just started thinking about. It. I was like, gosh, man, all it takes is one argument, and people are less rational today than they used to be. Yeah. So I don't know. It's kind of. Kind of shitty. Well, you said that the GW merch is not moving. Uh, other than D and D, what else is there? I think Magic might be right. And PG. Is Magic? Oh, God. Wizards of the Coast. Don't even get me started. Oh, I thought Magic was going was was hurting because of Wizards of the Coast. Didn't they do something? I don't know. No, no, no. I was just asking that uh, in the store. Uh, do they have magic, uh, the gathering stuff? Is it oh, they do, yeah. collecting dust as well as GW stuff? Uh, no, I think GW's is about the only one collecting dust, honestly. Yes, because... Uh, and what other stuff do they have? Uh, do they have, uh, for example, Malifo or... I did not see Malifo. Uh, I didn't see that. I have seen... Uh... There's Age of Sigmar, not, obviously not quite as much as the 40k stuff. The problem I think they have is they have very little in the way of small stuff, like say, you know, uh, Primaris Intercessor Squad or something like that. They've got all the high-end stuff like Bellacore, uh, Horus Heresy, Age of Darkness box set, um, 
all the custode bikes. Um, yeah, which, so the big shiny stuff. Yeah. The expensive stuff. Yeah. yeah um, that's all the expensive shit. What are they doing? I don't know. I guess they figure that's what's going to sell. But. And then, oh. Yeah, that's that is going to, they're, they're just going to sit in inventory and collect dust. And then you've got, yeah, and they don't do sales, which is interesting. And then they've got the issue, like, I, I thought, because I really want to play D&D at some point. Um, they've got the issue where, I guess I might as well just call it gatekeeping, because if they don't know you, they're definitely not trying to, you know, include you in the game. And I don't mean, like, stepping in in the middle of their campaign. I mean, like, you see them on Discord, hey, we're getting ready to start this campaign. You know, would anybody like to play and jump in there? Okay, well, what's your experience? As soon as you say you don't really have any, that's it. It's over, you know. And I try every yeah. time, but, you know, what do you do? Then it's just, well, I'm sorry to say, but a shitty store and a shitty mindset. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. if you have, if you are in a university, it's a university town, right? Yeah. So if you're in a university town, you have a lot of, a big influx of new people. Of, and the best way to cultivate an audience and, uh, and get people into the shop to spend their money is to have beginner friendly events, beginner friendly. Uh, role playing events, beginner friendly. Magic events, beginner friendly, whatever events. And I know that because I have done that with Warhammer. And I know that the when I was running the small point, 7th edition 750 point uh, tournaments, you know that. Right. Uh, you know that what, what that size entails and uh, what are the limitations. Uh, uh, a lot of the lot of the lurkers in the forums always came that I had this that 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 much and uh, not much else. Can I come? And it was always uh, one or two unit missing or one or two mini missing, and that was always uh, somebody either I loaned the figure or somebody else, and they all came, had a great time, returned the mini, and uh, later come back for a bigger tournament with more stuff. Nice. That's that's how you can cultivate. It, it, well, sorry. So that's how you can cultivate spending. Yeah. No. Um, I mean, I'm I'm with you. I mean, I didn't so, know like what I know now, but back in the day, we're talking ninety eight, ninety nine, two thousand, mm -hmm. when we had a forty man gaming club over in uh, Okinawa, and I was the vice president, um, in the rules Nazi. Uh, I couldn't be I couldn't be the president because I was deployed too much, so, you know, just couldn't be relied upon for me to necessarily be there for, you know, if something you know the balloon went up as we would say I gotta go, you know what I mean? And yeah. um, so, but when I was there, I mean, you know, I now mind you, I, I will f freely admit that the size of the codexes and the amount of rules you had to know back then were considerably smaller and less than they are now. The bloat is extreme right now, in my opinion. The gotchas, yes. all that crap. The only gotchas that we really, you know, saw in third edition was somebody not knowing their army and not knowing their own codex. And, you know, or trying to read it a way it didn't actually exist. And that's where I came in. But, you know, we did, every, I mean, that was back when the internet was young, you know, and people were trying to yeah. learn how to build web pages and everything else. And I actually, the guy who, I mean, we, you know, myself and my buddy Todd, who was an Air Force guy, um, we're in two different branches of service. We've been friends even now to this day because of this. I mean, he lives in South Dakota, so nowhere near me, but and he doesn't play anymore. But um, big Black Templars fan, all that stuff, you know, the guy who wanted to put this whole thing together before we met him, he's now in charge of it all and still lives over there. Of course, that's where his wife is and stuff. And I actually, one day, I think it was three years ago, just jumped on the internet to see if the OWGA still existed, Okinawa Wargaming Association. And uh, it did. And reached out, you know, and just said, hey, you know, 
basically, you know, what's what's been going on, this and that. And it was Rob. And, you know, he had no idea, you know, who I was or that it was me. And, uh, and that's fine. You know, it doesn't mean anything. But he immediately said, you know, I said, you know, like, how many people do you guys have? And he went on this, this you know, bragging tirade of everything that he had done since 98. And I was like, um, Rob, you know, this is Scott. <laughs> you didn't do all that. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> I just hear the color leaving his face at that point. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't see him, obviously, but, I mean, the, the whole, you know, the conversation died very fast after that, let me tell you. <laughs> and it was just like, wow, dude. I mean, I, I made all the terrain. I brought it all every time we played. You know, I, and when we couldn't get the, the E-Club or Enlisted Club that we typically played in, even with the Charter, you know, I, I locked on other places at other bases and stuff like that. And it's like, man, you know, the amount of money and, you know, time and effort I put into building that thing for everybody. And you're going to turn around and <laughs> say that. And I mean, and at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? It doesn't even matter. It's a lifetime ago. But, you know, this was a guy, and I'm never going to forget him, who would, if he could get away with cheating, he would. So I can only imagine what that club is like. Um, That's hard. Yeah, well, uh, why did I just do that? Damn, I didn't mean to glue those. Um, Bam. Man. Did Roth graduate from Harvard? <laughs> no, no. What? No, he didn't. No, he wasn't. I don't even think he was a college grad at all. He was an Air Force guy, too. Not that that really matters, but um, I can still see his face from back then. But, I mean, like, he was the guy, and, and I learned this very quickly, and maybe this will entertain you guys. So the way that I got into 40K, all right, as quick as I can say this, was I found, a, I used to get comics a lot. That was my big hobby, was uh, Dark Horse Comics with Aliens vs. Predator and Aliens and Predator series. Or series oh, yeah. Um, way back when, and Terminator and all that. And uh, the pawn shop that I got everything from, you know, they had a massive, I mean, they the the two sons that worked in there were huge oh and spider-man and all kinds of stuff anyway they had uh they were big into comics and everything and what they would do while i was away and you know in the services they had a list of everything i wanted and they would hold on to all that for me and then i would you know come and get it and pay them and i was good for it you know no big deal well, one day i just happened to be in there and it was the only box it was the only box and i'd never heard of warhammer or anything still didn't really know what it was but I was just walking around, waiting for them to get everything together, you know, because they had another customer. And there was this box. It was five beaky space marines, as we know them now, or as I know them now. But five, it said space marine, and it said space wolves. And I'm like, well, that's kind of neat. And, you know, it was like, I don't know, I think they were charging three bucks. So I was like, I'll, I'll buy that. And... Those poor beakies. I don't know whatever happened to them, but oh my god. I didn't know shit about acrylic paints or anything. I painted them with fucking enamels, and they looked like absolute ass. Oh, <laughs> so, poor Marines. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, well, not not to though. me, but I mean, compared to what, you know, we do now. And uh, I was just, you know, I think back, and I just I feel guilty about that. But anyway, so I then, I don't know, a couple years or so goes, goes by. Maybe five or six years, actually, now that I think about it. And um, I uh, I end up getting married and stuff, and I'm in Dallas, Texas, with my ex-wife, and we're walking into a mall, and here's this giant Games Workshop sign, and I don't know anything about it. I had never even heard of it. I was like, Games Workshop, what the hell's that? So I walk in, and they had it was third edition box set, you know, and all that, and this was '97, I believe. The end of 97, that's right, because we took everything over to uh, Token Owl with us. And there it was, you know, and I was like, holy shit, that's what this, that's what those were? You know? Oh, I'm sorry, there was one other thing I bought that was next to it, and it was the old Vindicare Assassin. Uh, the Ooh, the really old one. one. The one that's just standing upright with a big pistol. Um, it's, or it looks like a ninja. Hmm? I don't know. But, uh, and I, I messed that one up too. But anyway, um, so anyway, I buy, you know, my, my ex-wife's looking at me and she's like, 
you know, she's definitely not into this stuff. She was like, you know, I want to go to the club and dance kind of person and all that kind of stuff. And I'm, you know, and I've been creative my whole life, Star Wars, everything, you know. And uh, my mom is, you know, into shit, not not miniatures, but she's into working with her hands. And my dad built stuff, you know, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so I buy a box of this. We go back to the house, and I couldn't wait to get it open. Again, enamel paints, because that's all I knew. The guys at Games Workshop didn't tell me anything, you know, didn't say anything about acrylic paints, no uh, intro, intro game or nothing. And so I'm completely lost, but you know, whatever, I'm gonna paint this this one guy. And so anyway, we, you know, it was it was ass, you know. And uh, we get over to Tokinawa after a few months and I realize, wait a minute, if I want him to be a color, of, you know, the bulk of it be one color, I could spray paint that. It might come out better. Sure as shit, decided to do Space Wolves, gray. And, uh, and they did, they came out great, the squad did. Then I then I started playing with a guy in a barracks over a typhoon that was going on. He he knew all about this stuff, and uh, it just kind of blossomed from there. Well, anyway, I end up in a Japanese or Okinawa, not Japanese Okinawan gaming card store looking at something called Yu-Gi-Oh, and I didn't know anything about it. I'd heard of Pokemon and stuff like that, but I was like, okay, well, you know kind of look around and then I hear this you know they had a Warhammer poster there which was interesting and I'm looking at it and this guy walks up behind me and uh, he's like you know so you play Warhammer I mean just like this cliche cocky as you can imagine and and I turn around I'm not a very tall guy but this guy's shorter than I am and I'm looking at him like well I'm I'm just getting into it and he's got the taller heavy set you know wingman if you will that's like, well, you need to come down and play with him. I mean, he's the best there is. Blah, blah. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, is this for real? You know? <laughs> I mean, who, who talks like this shit, you know? And, um, but anyway, but it was intriguing. Yeah. I was like, well, hey, there's a place for people to play. Okay. I go down there, and I bring my little, my little army or whatever. Again, I don't really know shit. All I know is fire and maneuver from Marine Corps Tactics. And, you know, basically the little bit that I learned with the other guy, Trey, was his name. And um, the guy, it, it was completely, now, now that I know, you know, or knew later on how much that he was cheating me, let's put it this way. I had a 10-man tactical squad of Marines. That's it. Oh, and a, and a captain. And, uh, well, he was a sergeant, but he was my captain. And this guy had a 10-man squad of uh, Chaos Marines and a Dreadnought, Chaos Dreadnought. And when he put it on the table, I'm like, that doesn't seem fair. You know, in my head, I'm like, that doesn't seem fair. And again, I don't really have, I mean, the games we played weren't really like, he didn't really teach me about points and stuff. Um, so I'm, and I'm here by myself, so I don't know anything really other than how to roll dice and, you know, measure and move. Well, they put all the terrain down. You know, I'm just kind of going with the flow. And of course, you know, big, tall weirdo is like, oh man, dude. You ain't gonna make it, man. You ain't gonna make it. And I'm just like, gosh, dude, go sit down somewhere and shut the hell up. You know, is what I wanted to say. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we start playing. And I'm basically at this point, I'm like, okay, well, I said, I, I see that we basically have two forces. This seems kind of like something's wrong here. Like, it's, it's just not gonna be very fun. Like, we're not really gonna be able to move around and stuff. And he goes, well, we can divide them up where each guy is his own unit if you want. I said, okay, that sounds all right. Still looking at this dreadnought that I didn't know was a dreadnought. I have no idea what this thing is. It's just scary, if you will. And uh, all I have are bolters, you know, stuff like that. No missile launchers or anything. Because um, I didn't know that. I thought that was part of the land speeder vehicle that, that I hadn't put together yet. So I, I didn't really follow any instructions or whatever. Well, what I did was I played a game of guerrilla warfare. And I tore his ass up. And I mean, intersecting lines of fire, you name it, focused on, you know, singling out Marines and wiping them out while, you know, ducking in cover with the guys that I needed to. And you could just see the look on this dude's face getting pissed off. Well, that's the day I also met Todd. And Todd comes over and I think, I think he had, I think this guy had, Jeremy was his name. I think he had two Space Marines left, Chaos Space Marines in the Dreadnought. I hadn't even bothered targeting it or whatever, and I wouldn't have been able to hurt it anyway back in third edition, I don't think. And uh, yeah. 
in, I guess maybe if I shot it in the back, but I'd have to have six, I don't know, six of I think. Anyway, this guy Todd yeah, walks he, over. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm really stand, but... Yeah, still, I mean, uh, that's, yeah. Well, anyway, and we're only playing on like, I don't know, maybe 24 by 24, maybe. So it's pretty small. Um, basically, this dreadnought could shoot anything, right? And I think I'd only lost one Marine at that point. Well, this guy Todd walks over, and he hadn't, you know, I hadn't met him. He hadn't been over there the whole whole time. And as soon as he walks over, he goes, he looks at, uh, you know, my force. He sees my one Marine dead, and he looks at the rest, and he goes, Jeremy, what are you doing? He goes, well, we're playing a game. He goes, this isn't fair. And I'm like, what's going on? He goes, dude, that you can't have that dreadnought on the table against this squad of space marines. And then he started talking about points, and then it clicked, you know. And I just looked at the guy, and I shook my head. I mean, that's all I did was I just looked at him and shook my head. He goes, well, I mean, I, I was just trying to have a fun game, you know, introduce you to you know, things that could happen. And I'm like, bullshit, dude. Tom the newbie is what Yeah, I'm like, dude, you just wanted, you just like wanted to win. Noob stump. Yeah. Just, just, just a good efficient noob stumping. Yep. I'm like, you just that's... wanted to win. And uh, he was like, well, you know, I didn't mean it that way. I'm like, and, and that, now again, I'm brand new to the hobby, if you will, all this stuff. But I remember even back then saying, this is how people don't want to do these types of things. You know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, precisely. Yeah. So, I mean, after that, um, ended up playing a game with Todd. He explained a lot of it, and it was really good. And, um, well, then that guy, Rob, back to the Mr. Owner of the club. I know I went way around the axle on this one. I hear him kind of sort of arguing with somebody because he was losing a game. And I just walked over just to see what was going on. And this was the start of three years of this gaming club where anytime you're around this guy, all he would talk about is second edition and how whatever librarian you have could wipe out a person's entire army. And I'm like, why does that, why is that even a rule? Why, how, does it, how do you even have rules that allow that to happen? I mean, that makes no sense. What's the point of having an army then? So... I won't want to say I, I've seen it all, but I've seen quite a bit. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny because Badger helped me figure out way back in the day. I didn't even realize I was playing Rogue Trader, first yeah. edition. It, it was literally, we'd been playing Battletech forever, and this one guy's like, hey, can we try something different? I'm like, sure. What do you got? It's called Warhammer. And I think the models were just metal back then, they would have been. I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah, and literally we played like uh, beer and pretzels. You know, it was like we're just sitting there drinking beer in the army, just getting fucked up drunk playing toy soldiers. It was literally how we played it. And that that was it. Everybody took like a what would we know now probably as a squad, and just derped around on the board. I, you know, we had rules, but it was kind of like <laughs> derp. You know, that rule seems stupid. Let's try this. <laughs> so we had more table rules than we had official rules. But it was fun. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't even know. <laughs> Back then, it sounds like you were buying road trailer, dude. <laughs> really? Yeah, I bought all that stuff just for just to have it. Because I'm a collector, but... I don't know, man. It's... It's, it's a weird... It's a weird environment, weird hobby. And... I never thought in my wildest dreams with what happened today that I would see somebody say, because you don't have, or because you can't afford models, that's the thing that pisses me off. Because you couldn't afford models, you don't, you're not a true Warhammer fan. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I mean, I know Badger, he's seen the picture and I've done it where we've literally played, like in the desert, yeah. with whatever we could find. Yeah. Well, I don't have the rule book. Well, fuck it. We'll just make it up, man. Yeah. <laughs> just make up rules as we go. Well, it's like wait, 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 wait. Are you on? Are you on that photo? That uh, no. My no. Marines are playing on jerry cans with uh, stones and bullets. We have though. Uh, I played Battletech. <coughs> you have, but you are not not on that photo. Okay. No, no, okay. no. But uh, we played Battletech, and we we actually made our own random number generator out of uh, toilet paper tubes. <laughs> Which, you, take two of them, you take two of them and you slot them inside of each other and then you, you spin them to create enough to generate a number. And you just got it in like rows where it's at, you know, like at an angle. 
and we had like 20, we had two of them, we had a 20 of six, eight, a 10, and then, you know, whatever else we needed. Um, and we used nuts, bolts, wires, terrain, well, <laughs> all our battles were fought in the desert. Uh, so we had sand terrain for everything. <laughs> it's kind of a given. But the funniest is we're literally out there fighting a lance on lance, which is four mechs versus four mechs. And all of a sudden, a fucking dung beetle walks right out in the middle of our battlefield. Hey, man, PVE. <laughs> and that's literally Ooh. what happened. And I went, Alien Xenos Landing, attack! <laughs> I'm making up fucking numbers for the dung beetle, man. <laughs> and they just, this poor fucking bug, just, they're like, going on. What the hell? And we're yelling and fucking screaming and they're firing auto cannons and PPCs at a fucking bug. Probably throwing dice at it. Oh, yeah, yeah. well, we didn't want to fucking kill it because it's like, you know, that's cheating. <laughs> that's cheating. You can't kill the bug. You can't kill the bug that way. Can't kill it that way. It's cheating. Moves faster than all of your units. It was. I mean, we had to, like, keep it hedged in. The poor scarab is like, what the hell? Oh no, you know, we was like, we were like trying to figure out what it ate. So we were throwing fucking food down. It's like, here bro, take a lunch break while we're here. Well, it's like... Then we, let him, then we let him go, picked him up, carried him out. And let him go about his life of gathering shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, I mean, we played D&D &D that way. We played Battletech that way. Uh, like I said, uh, we were I was in the barracks in Germany for, for Rogue Trader, but yeah, and I, I'm looking at, and I'm not gonna lie, I looked at the art book, I'm like, this art looks like shit, man. <laughs> the art was pretty rough back then, if I remember right. So, but uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then, you know, uh, as happens, shit changed. I got promoted, I got transferred to another unit, which is what they do when they promote you. And uh, you're not allowed to have fun anymore. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, it was, it was really weird back then, and I'm sure Badger ran the same thing, that geek culture wasn't, like, prevalent. No. So, and when you reach a certain level of responsibility, it's really weird if you're into it. Yep. So, like, if you're an E6 or an E7... You haven't grown suddenly, up. Yeah, and, and they look at you like, you know, you're not being very professional. Right. So you kind of give it up. Yep. Exactly it right there. So stupid. Well, okay, you gotta understand. Back then, it, it, it's funny, they wanted you to learn to get promoted, but they didn't like smart guys. Right. Well, like, for if, example, I was gonna okay. say, look at look at our sand tables. Like, I used yeah. micro machines, especially when they came out with actual, you know, military vehicles and stuff. Right. Dude, I used micro machines for everything. And anytime I'd have a sergeant major, somebody come over to see what we were, you know, my op order and stuff, look. He has no idea what snipers and reconnaissance marines do anyway, but he's looking at this sand table where, you know, we've we've literally built like if you think of Twenty Nine Palms or that area out there, you know, we've built the entire mountain ranges and the Delta Corridor and everything else so large that OP Crampton is as tall as you as your chest. That's how you know those were the sand tables that we built. And we're doing walkthroughs where you're, you know, rock walks as you're literally walking through the stuff. You've got, you know, here's the tanks. I mean, everything was to scale, you know, and they're yeah. saying, oh, this is, this is ridiculous. We've never do this. And then you always remind them, well, Sergeant Major, there's an entire facility down by the, the division headquarters building with lasers and everything else where they, they have their own, you know, models and stuff or minis. I didn't say minis, but models and stuff where we all have to sit up in the bleachers with binos and everything looking down on this faux battlefield as they move things around and call call for fire, call in for aircraft and everything, you know, artillery and everything else, you know, and match the speed of the, of the tanks or vehicles that are moving and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, this is nothing new, you know? Yeah. And it just, you know, but it's, it's not what they grew up with, so it's beyond them and you can't win that argument. You just, you just can't. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's, and same thing happened to me that during the mid 90s when uh, Bill Clinton was in charge, you, you hear a lot of people brag that Bill Clinton balanced the budget. He did it by, by emptying the military's pockets. Yep. He took every fucking dime we had. Sure did. And uh, 
we didn't have the money to go to gunnery. We didn't have the money to do training. And, you know, I remember listening to the captain. I think I was on staff duty or something, which is a 24 hour duty. And, uh, you know, he's just sitting there and he walks out and he's like, I don't know what the hell we're going to do. We've got to do some training, XO. You know, how are we going to do this? And I went, sir? Yeah, just a minute, sergeant. No, sir, sir, I got an idea. The good idea, Ferry. <laughs> I said, I got an idea, sir. What, what if we could use the sand table and some yard sticks and do that? Renegade X79. ELE Dude, I mean. Like, yeah, we could do that. And we basically set up, we used Battletech tanks and personnel carriers to simulate Bradleys and M1s and we did full opexes right there on the sand table using basically a bastardization of battle tech and uh rogue trader rules oh yeah and, uh, what yeah yeah you could just see all the older ncos are like this is stupid this ain't gonna work and i just remember the, our lieutenant colonel was like you got a better idea sergeant because those two young men are right running the show right now so shut up. Yeah, more or less shit fuck up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun with it. But I know. Yeah. Um, speaking of sand tables, uh, my local fire department that runs our airport, our local airport, has sand tables, and they've got matchboxes for their like crash trucks and the engines or everything. Well, what's... Dude, they they did sand table exercises as far back as World War One. I. I mean, yeah. Badger and I know how to do a field. We used to call it chalk talking. Yep. We, we, we would just put shit together and, and, and sketch out fucking ground. We use rocks, blocks, lunches, fucking MRE packets, whatever. That's yeah. as old as warfare. Yep. And that's what cracks me up. See, you got to tell what I said about being smart. Now, let's just imagine you've got 16 guys hanging out in the motor pool. 15 of them are reading the newspaper. Oh, God. One of them <laughs> is reading a book. <laughs> One of them is reading a book, like a no, even maybe a novel. Maybe he's reading the latest Tom Clancy book. You know who they're going to yell at? The guy with the novel. Yep. Because, ain't you got something better to do? You look around, there's 14 motherfuckers reading the newspaper. That's okay. But you can't read a book. Yep. You can't make yourself smart by it. Right? Yeah, they can't be smart. Fuck you, Sergeant Major. Well, he's not lying. That's exactly how it was, dude. But, okay, Sergeant Major, I'll keep being stupid. Fucking retard. Yeah, you can think that. <laughs> you can think that shit, buddy. Yeah, don't say don't it. Don't say it, just think it. Well, you can say it once. Once? <laughs> well, that's before I mean, you get your ass ripped open. I mean, just a question as a pure civilian. Uh, isn't the army about that? You, they need, well... And I'm not going to, and, and I don't want to degrade You're not. The, the personal, that they <laughs> You're not. need guys stupid enough to follow, uh, is an, in some cases, uh, stupid, orders. Orders. So, stupid orders, and so, not, uh, not raise the ruckus. So but that is the common about, misconception. And, I mean, it may have been... Maybe back in, we'll say, medieval times or something like that. But I can tell you right now, at least on the American side, and I'm pretty sure the British, at least from all the guys that I've served with, that is not the case. Because you need people that can adapt. Like, for instance, in the Marine Corps, and undoubtedly the Army, I'm sure, um, there is no, uh, there, there cannot be, is what I meant to say, there cannot be a break in the chain of command. If this guy dies... The next guy up, it's not as simple as going, you're in charge. No, your job, in addition to your job, is to know your job and two ranks above you at all times. That's, that's I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. That way there's never a break. That guy dies, it doesn't matter. The, 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 you know, the unit is still pushing forward. All, all of a sudden, commands are getting barked out and things are happening. That can't happen without critical thinking skills and the ability to challenge, you know, what's going on. Now... Wait. But isn't it, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but isn't no, no. it just, uh, well, learning learning the role of the other and, uh, and not, uh, necessar not necessarily uh, thinking on your feet, 
but uh, but no so so and not necessarily being creative and uh, thinking creatively uh, but uh, i don't know fall i don't know the ah, the way that we are tested no, no i got you the way i think i got you the way we are tested is by making sure that we can think on our feet Exodus. and we can stop and Hello, angry you know badger. Bam. Marines like yeah no Marines I mean you're not like wrong. Creative killers. If the first in command dies, he wasn't creative enough. Well, and that I've actually heard that that's not a, I mean, that's not a, a, a wrong that's not wrong think, put it that way. But no it, it I mean everybody thinks that we're all these mindless you know idiots that just charge the hill. That is not how it is at all. And unfortunately, you know. It works in two ways. It works. It works good against the enemy. It works bad against our own civilians in academia. If that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, a lot of us still think. Yeah. A lot of us are the product of either you can't get a job or go to, go to, uh, to college. You can't go to college because you're too stupid, or right. go to jail, or go to the Marines, or go to the Army. And that, it has been decades before yeah. I got in. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's it's a very strange level of you have to be able to realize you are going to do mindless stupid shit and let and it you're go. Get mindless stupid orders, and you're going to follow them to the best of your ability. You have to be smart enough to figure out how to follow them without them being mindless and stupid. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And we're encouraged yeah, to they're... develop our own leadership philosophies to carry with us as we go forward, like. We're, we're ingrained with, you know, leadership yes, principles and all because that kind of people stuff. People are always aiming to rise up in the ranks. And people retire, too. So you are always learning to replace the one above you. Soldiers yeah. are all cogs forming one greater whole. For the most part, yes. Um, but what I was going to say is... Uh, shit, what was I saying? Uh, Submarine. Uh, um... What the hell was I saying? I think wasn't it organizational something of how to follow orders? Because that's what I remember C that laughing being <laughs> off is like how to follow your orders basically without getting in trouble. Well see that that's the that's the part where when you're a junior guy, you're pretty much you know, that's your focus is how to do that. You know? Oh, back to leadership stuff. So all branches of service, probably I would imagine every, you know, country around the world imparts on their people, or should be, a warrior ethos and leadership principles and leadership standards. But at least I, I, you know, I speak for you know, our country at least, or it used to be. Uh, man, I can't believe I have to say that. But you, know, you were encouraged to come up with your own. Like, you had the 12 leadership traits, for instance, in the Marine Corps, JJ did tie buckle, justice, judgment, blah, 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 all that stuff. My three, and I only had three, that served me well and were passed on and people have taken it, even guys above me, well above me. General Mattis, for instance, you know, asked me when I worked for him as an independent sniper team where he said, you know, what did what did you develop to make this team, you know, what it was? Because none of them were snipers, they were just straight infantry guys. But they did the work, you know, as if they had been doing this as long as I had because I trained them that way. And I said, three leadership principles. Never forget where you came from. Never be afraid to get your hands dirty and never hold yourself above your Marines. That's how I lead. And that's, you know, and I, I've never had an issue whatsoever. And it's, you know, I mean, yeah, they do dumb shit, you know, like get in trouble or something like that. But I mean, it wasn't a, res there was never an issue respect wise, you know? So if I said, Hey, look, you need to, you know, I need you to freaking breach that door. They already know. I don't need to say it. There's a high probability that it could go wrong. We all know this. You know what I mean? But they're confident in the fact that what they're doing is going to save the lives of the man, you know, to the left and right of them. And that's all that matters. It's never about your own life. It's always about the other guy. And when you have, you know, for lack, you know, better phrase, combining everybody here, when you have a military force or army that thinks like that, call them zealots if you want. You you are not going to beat that. You can't. I don't give a shit what what technology you have. 
I mean, unless you ended up on an open field where there was nowhere else to go and you basically had a bottleneck somewhere like Thermopylae or something like that, there's no, there's no way you're ever going to defeat a mindset that way. You just can't. Um, Desert Storm. We hadn't, it had been 18 years since America had really been under fire. There had been a little shit like Grenada and Panama and stuff like that. But the first large scale deployment of military forces outside the United States. And man, some of the shit I heard that we're going to die, there's going to be 5,000 casualties, blah, blah, blah. We just, we relied on our training. Yep. You know, and, and the, the, the thing is, is the, the first now. I was the only person in my platoon that had ever been under fire. That includes the platoon sergeant, sergeant, you know, the the, the the CO, all of the lieutenants, all of the NCOs. One man out of 16 had ever been shot at in his life. I got you beat one out of 1,500. Jesus. <laughs> it's even worse. It was. I When I found that out, dude, I was like, oh, fuck. Well, we're fucked. And I was like, my luck just <laughs> ran out. And, uh, oh shit. And, uh, yeah, and I, you know, they're all looking at me and they're like, well, what's it like? I'm like, we don't think about what it's like. Do your fucking job. Just do your job. Rely on your training. Follow your commands. Follow your NCO. You know, and I, and I looked at the officers. I said, sir, the best things all three of you men can do is follow what the NCOs tell you to do. Okay? You're in charge. You give them the order, you allow them to execute. That's literally the chain of command. You are not in charge of shit. You, you develop, the CO gives you the plan, you develop it for the platoon, you rely on the platoon sergeant and his N3E6s to deploy the orders. And listen to what they tell you if the battlefield shifts. Yeah, which God did ever shift. Right. <laughs> Holy shit, that's that was the biggest insane problem. The way it shifted. Yep. And, um, you know, we, our troop, under a young captain named McMasters, if you recognize that name. I do. I recognize McMaster. <laughs> he was my CO. He was a captain, I was a corporal. He Dirt just bag. retired as a three star, I think. So <laughs> we went over a hill, looked down, and there was an entire enemy regiment laid out below us. We were well, one, one company against an entire regiment. That's right, Hastings, right? Uh, Eastings, close. And Early then C that said, C that started laughing, and they left was like, "Why are you laughing?" And he's like, "With all the world's armies stacked against us, there must be somebody down there that can offer me what we Spartans call a good death." <laughs> it was pretty wild, <laughs> and all we heard was, you know. Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. No, 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 no. Um, you know, Ghost Elements. This is Ghost Six. You know what to do. Charge. And we went over that fucking hill, man. That was it. It was all over at that point. And, and, and there was, I, if, if there were commands given outside of my vehicle, I never heard them. It was me and the tank commander and the gunner and the driver. We were welded into one person. Yep. And we fought that tank literally. That's why people, I, I see people like, well, I don't understand. What do you mean that the armor, like a Space Marine's armor is part of their body? That you can only get that level of, of to when you understand the equipment you're using. Yep. That gun, my hand, they had to pull me out of my seat. I had basically hunched down into my seat because there's not a lot of room inside of a tank turn. I had hunched down into my seat and basically welded myself to the fucking vehicle. I barely moved. The only thing I moved were my fingers and my, my left hand and like three fingers on each hand. That's it, that's all that moved. Mine never left the sights. So, yeah, you know, and if my tank commander was, I just remember what it was I was going to say. Um, have you guys all seen uh, We Were Soldiers? Yeah, movie. Okay. Remember That's when the helicopter lands and Mel Gibson leans up and goes, you're dead, you're dead. What do you do? That's yep. literally the kind of training we have. Yep. You're dead, you're dead. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? And if you hesitate, you're dead. <laughs> you don't know. What are you going to do? Get out. That's how it has yeah. to be. That's why you have to be able to think on your feet. You, you can't, like I said, that you know the public doesn't really understand. And again, I can't speak for every country out there because, well, I can speak for some of them. And you would not like what I'm going to say. Speak but, for the ones we fought. <laughs> well, not even that. I mean, like, and and I don't mean to offend, you know, you, uh, Metronoy, but 
when I worked with the Spanish, what a goat rope. <laughs> I mean, and but here's the thing, and I'm going to be fair here. When you when you meet them on ship, for instance, because we do a you know basically we'll go in and train you know in Spain, and then they'll jump on the ships and stuff and learn how all that's you know it's just cross you know cross pollination so to speak. And the first thing you notice as a as a junior marine is that they're wearing elephant skin boots. You already know they are so underfunded it's ridiculous. Wait, what? Yeah. It's that bad. That's is that like a is that like a fucking nickname for something? No, ele- elephant skin, like elephant leather. It's that's how underfunded they are. Wow. And you you're, you're look you're looking at those boots and you can just feel the pain of their feet inside those things. Yeah, no shit. You know what I'm saying? And I mean it, it'll yeah, it'll wake you up. Yeah, when I was in university, I was uh, looking at the funding of uh, various European armies, and none of them reached the 2% uh, NATO requirement. Nope. So, and we are talking about, I don't know, Germany, Spain, Italy. Mm -hmm. Not the French, because the French are... French are not in NATO. Yeah. They are not in NATO, they are in... Because they are... The goal hated the Americans and uh, that then, since then it's just a national pastime. I will tell you that Americans don't particularly like Italians on a Navy ship. They want to hear some, some gross stories. Come back early and they don't know you're there. And you got dudes freaking all hanging out in the shower together. Shitting in the freaking sink and everything else. Wait, shitting in the shower. Wait, yeah, because they don't know any better. It's fucking dude. <laughs> you think I'm joking? I'm not. I mean, dude, fucking fights breaking out. You just come off patrol, go to the head, and freaking here's you know two guys in the shower together, <sighs> or a dude squatting over the sink taking a dump in it instead of the toilet. Yeah, shit goes down, man. No pun intended. Fuck. Oh. There's some dirty dudes, man. <laughs> he's he's Are like, you shitting in the sink, Private? He's like, oh my god, what the fuck did <laughs> I just hear? Man, I thought some of the shit I saw. Why, why am I thinking of the Salt Park episode when Bucker um, shits in the PSR? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm telling you, I'm not lying to you. And all I could think of is some of the shit I saw the Germans do. That was bad enough. Oh, yeah. I mean, see everybody it. thinks the Germans are like some kind of World War II level of efficiency. No. You're a clusterfuck. Dude, you're I, 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 I want to know, and maybe you can answer this for me, how the people in Sierra de Rattan, if I'm saying that right, how they survive out there. Because I spend a lot of time out there in Spain, and let me tell you something, that's the muddiest and wettest I have ever lived in my life, other than a jungle. I mean, there was no sun. I mean, months. No sun. Everything was wet. You know, I mean, I almost thought I was in fucking Scotland or something. But it seemed worse. And they're so separated from everything. It's almost like they are living in the era of, you know, say, World War One. You know. It's crazy. Where was that? Sierra uh, de Rattan. It's, uh... On the really, really east in Spain. Um, so we got we got there by freaking uh, LCU. So it's right on the coast. Uh, let me think here. What's it next to? Because we had to fly to go to Madrid, and we took a boat to Malaga. And how far was it from Malaga? Malaga. Dude, Malaga. So- I had, to, I had to save one of my buddies from ending up with a, a transvestite Oops. there. <laughs> I, I'm so like, I knew it. it was a dude. It was a dude. <laughs> dude, Mazio, that fucker. Oh, God. There's always that so guy that'll fuck So it's southern Spain. Yeah. So, so, so in, in, in and around Almeida? It's very, very Malaga. rural. Very rural. Malaga. Yeah. Well, Malaga is not rural, obviously, but... Um, but you were in the vicinity. Yeah. Well, I think it took us, I think it took us a day to get to Malaga via ship. Um, I 
think. Then that's the <laughs> that's the whole southern coastline of Spain from Portugal the, until well Valencia or something like yeah, that. It's dude, it's so rural out there. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you got on the tallest mountain that they or if you call them mountains there, you can even see anything. You know any whatever buildings or anything. I mean every 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 little we'll say hut I, I don't want to be disrespectful here but every little house that we came across were built with stones you know like again I'm thinking World War one era and uh, everybody had goats and there was a few houses that had a cow or two um, and that's about it but I mean it was and it's yeah rural Spain is uh, is, is very much rural uh, I was I was never in Spain, but uh, I learned about uh, the country in university, and uh, well, in southern Spain, where you were, uh, they they mostly engage uh, with agriculture of products and uh, and hot houses. And uh, did you say whorehouses? Hot, hot houses. houses. Okay. Uh -oh. Yeah, we know where your work in the mind is right now. You're still thinking about the guy with the train. I'm trying to think how you got how you do agriculture and whorehouses. That's what I'm trying to think. God damn. Well, you must have about the guy that uh, had to be rescued from the training. So. Yeah, I haven't got to that story yet. Go ahead, go ahead, yeah. veteran. And, uh, and, and the, and rural Spain has the same problem. Think as uh, as any rural community that uh, the young ones are leaving, they are going to the city, and uh, and the old and the old ones can't uh, keep working the fields. Right. So they are selling them, and and this this process uh, goes to the countryside. And in Spain, last last I remember, the vast majority of the Agricultural fields uh, are owned by corporations and not, uh, not well, local farmers. Wow! But I might be wrong. I know I one thing. I know one thing, man. That was back in '95 when I was there, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you what, man. Then it was beautiful. In '95, in, in uh, Spain was uh, well, well, not better off. Uh, in fact, I think, if I remember correctly, uh, that was... When did Franco die? Just a moment, let me check. While you're doing that, when we... So my team, we were the ones that did the initial beach landing, scout swimming in. And I remember standing there thinking, my gosh, this is a beautiful country. Before we got oh, all is. muddy and everything. It's but, uh... But when we yeah. left, after the Amtraks and the Beachmasters and everybody had been there, and I was, it you know, was we were the last cool. ones, oh my god. I'm standing there on the beach, you know, it's just my team and I, my ATL walks over to me and he's like, you know, what's wrong? And I was like, look at this. Look what we just left here and we're not even in war. I mean, it was just, I, I don't know, man. It was like something you'd see, like the guys that go in and clear the trees in the Amazon, you know what I mean? It was horrible. Yeah, well, what uh, people usually don't realize is uh, from the end of Second World War until the uh, reinstatement of the Spanish monarchy, uh, Spain was effectively in a, in a quarantine because it was run by, uh, by Franco, uh, far right, well, dictator of the country. And let me check. Uh, you, 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 you. What the heck is this piece? Yes, and uh, Spain joined NATO in 82, and you, mm, that, I don't find that, but I learned it. <laughs> I, I hate that. Japan did it. Spain, Spain, okay, left. Yeah, 86. 
86. So when you were there in 95, uh, back then the EU wasn't as uh, on hands and as uh, as powerful as uh, as now. And, yeah, they were uh, simply a trade union because I remember yes. everybody still had their own currencies back then. Yes, 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 and uh, the main focus was. Uh, regulating German interest and uh, keeping the French uh, sedated and calm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God, yes. And not to mention that uh, back then the British were in there also, so the other the other goal was to keep the British happy and uh, and silent. Oh God, the Brits, and, uh, Brits and, were such assholes back then too. And and this did not left uh, much money to send into Spain because uh, back then it was uh, not as well developed as as today. And uh, since the majority of the, of the money was uh, either spent on uh, the French agriculture cultural sector, so they don't produce too much that they can't sell. And uh, the other, the other half was uh, spent on the British, so they don't kick up shit needlessly. Huh. Oh. Since then, uh, Spain has uh, well, I'm not going to say the transfer their economy because uh, because they didn't transform it per se, it was transformed for them and uh, the tertiary sector and, uh, and, and the tourism, tourism on the on the coast of Spain so and in Madrid kicked up and uh, and was uh, and this is a big uh, well breadwinner makes sense but uh, but I think uh, today if you went back to where you landed in 95 96 uh, you'd still find the same uh, old stone houses and the same people with uh, a little bit more uh, goats and uh, cows huh. you're annoying to goat town <laughs> <laughs> yeah and Rhoda fuck Rhoda I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell you what. I never even got a real chance to hang out there because of the damn stupid Navy fucking back, uh, back flushed the water from the port that we were in into the fucking system. And then they thought that they were going to clear it with fucking, you know, just not however they were going to do it. But they ended up fucking getting JP5 in the fucking water line. Oh, shit. So between that and whatever was in the port water, we called it the Screaming Comanches. And uh, dude, like your your fucking body, I swear to then, God, dude, you you then, thought you all know, the goats and cows were eaten by African migrants. <laughs> oh my God, damn, that's well. It goes nice that monetization. <laughs> yeah, damn. Not, nice one. I don't have any monetization. Not, not I don't wrong, rate. <laughs> I don't. I don't rate monetization. Um, yeah, no, fucking, dude, like, imagine, you ever had a kidney stone? Yeah. Okay. No. I hope you never do. Um, no. It's It's so bad. Imagine a kidney stone, though, times 10, and you cannot move your body because you are cramped up so hard, it's like rigor mortis. They had to, they had to physically carry everyone out of their birthing areas to triage to get fucking treated and everything, and literally, they're sitting there pulling on you, pulling on all your joints and everything else, moving everything, you know, to try to loosen you up, loosen up your, your muscles. And it was, oh, God, fucking suck. Oh, it so and I was, like, the last people. person to get infected, or whatever you want to call it, infected. There you go. He was one of the infected. He was one of the infected. Infected new zombie. <laughs> oh, man. No, fucking... Nap Naples, Italy, fucking Mazio almost got picked up by a black tranny. I was, we were looking for him, we couldn't find. He's married too. That was the crazy part. We couldn't find his ass, and um, he, uh, you know, they sent me out to find him, and I, I found him pretty quick, about 30 minutes or so. And right when I found him was when 
the trainee who's got to be every bit six seven something like that massive dude and he's like you ready to go honey and then and mazio is like yeah it's like no you're not <laughs> oh, no, you mazio was five two well he was in love wasn't he oh my god i don't know something i'm like nope well, he, well, I mean, i'm pretty sure he'd look good yeah it's hard oh, you guys, you guys are. You got a world. dick. I've got a dick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, we have so much to talk about. Oh my god, it's over. Play Halo together. Oh my god. No, no. What I I said about they all had their money. That was the only bitch about traveling over there because I traveled a lot, and um, you know, you 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 were at the mercy of the local vendors. Yeah. But they were surprisingly nice about it. Like, you buy something, and you just hold out a handful of money. And they would just go, you know, they take what they want to give you your change back. They could have been ripping it. I never knew they were ripping me off or not. That's how it is in Okinawa. Yeah, I just I just remember my grandfather telling me stories about when he was in England. He says, he says I just hold out a handful. Because they'd be like, nine and ten bob. What? Ten and twelve bob. Here. <laughs> just take what I owe you. <laughs> you gotta watch that shit in Okinawa, dude. Oh, I'm sure. Cause I'm they'll sure. they'll fucking tell you that you'll give them whatever, or even let them take whatever. You start leaving, and they'll turn around and fucking call the JPs on your ass, say you didn't pay. Yeah, yeah, the Brits thankfully, or at least back then, were uh, pretty cool about it. Yeah, they still like this. Yeah, it's. That's why whenever you hear me say or see me say on Twitter to people you don't know the world you live in, they don't. They really don't. Oh, no. Not even. Not even in their own fucking country. Fucking dumbass Americans. Yeah, well, 90% of the people we argue with on Twitter are like, Well, who was that what it dev was it that was uh, saying? Fucking that, oh, they, oh, they, they uh, never leave their town and they're just rural rednecks and it's like... You fucking See more of this world than you could possibly fathom. Exactly. You know, I was talking to a, a guy the other day on another Discord. He's having, like, you know, a crisis. Cheater. Looks like ass. Yeah, I was gonna say, fucking cheating bastard. Well, he's, he's pretty upset, and I was like, dude, you know, we, we kind of talked about a bunch of things, and it really all comes down to perspective. And he was talking about he's worried about, you know, if there is a civil war, what about all the military guys? And like, put yourself in their shoes, and you gotta understand. They went from naive kids to, and the fucking military took them and shoved their face into the cheese grater of reality, and they fucking ate it. All right, and they walked away from that shit. And when they come back, they're crying about your pumpkin spice latte. Yes, they're gonna lose it all. You have no idea the gravity of the world and the shit that's going on around you means. And you're over here crying about things that are so vapid and petty that you, you're you going to piss them off. And that's why they seem like they hate you. They don't hate you. They don't even fucking know you. They want you to understand that the world is more than what you think it is. It's not America. America I mean, appreciate what you have. Quit bitching. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I mean, hate's a strong word. Dislike is more correct. Yeah, I mean, I would like them more, like... I don't know. If you were in a public space where you're both on neutral ground, you'd probably get along swimmingly unless they said something really stupid right off the bat. Like female space marines. Yeah, like if you go to like, <laughs> or, I don't know, accusing you of like, you know, being a fascist. Baby or, killer. And stupid shit, like, oh, we need socialism. I'm like, dude, when you have property taxes, you're going to be so fucking Republican, it's not even funny. Yep. Like, your ass is going to switch when the neighbors are fucking throwing trash on their front lawn and making your fucking $400,000 house suddenly dip down into the twos. You're going to be pretty fucking Republican. You're going to be a not-in-my-backyard person like that. It's just like all those people that are like, hey, we need to let all these uh, people in. And then they go into their gated community and they're like, no, no, that's not what we meant. I'm very Republican near my house. But near your house, uh, super liberal. Yep. I always have... But my house. That storm's getting here, Dan. Yeah, I'm hoping it doesn't have my power on it. Yeah, that's that's the only thing I worry about because of course Duke Energy 
fucking, you know, category four hurricane, we don't lose any power. Bright sunny day, shit kicks out. <laughs> Bro, that's how it is here, dude. Fucking 60 mile an hour winds, fucking ice on the trees. Trees fucking, down all over the place. You know, place. yeah, hang ice, you know, that if it fell off the fucking line, it would probably split you in half, you know, like a horror movie. And then fucking clear, bright, sunny day, nothing going on. Power's out fucking all day. Some fucking homeless guy fell asleep next to a telephone pole and knocked the power out somehow. How the fuck is this happening? Fucking squirrel yeah. tried to fuck a transformer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking thing. I've seen that shit. Giant green fireball. Like, whoa! Man, whoa. go from Rocky, man. Man. What to get Bro. off my lawn Why real quick. Like barbecue and yep. fucking fried fried circuit board out here. The worst one I ever saw. Come on, squirrel! Wife and I, when we lived in South Florida for a little while, we're driving down I-95 and a lightning bolt hit a transformer right next to our car. Oh, nice. It didn't hurt us, but that is the most god-awful noise. Oh, yeah. Man. I, I, I said, it's like God snapped his fingers next to your head. Oh, yeah. Uh, and all I saw was this pink flash of light. And uh, this quick. horrible noise. Yeah, I mean, it was probably, it's like what, what it would sound like if a 203 millimeter landed on you and you somehow survived. Quick that thing, quick thing for the stream real quick, not to interrupt you, but for those of you that are magnetizing, you cut this off after you put it together, okay? Because if you don't, you're not going to have, it's not going to be level. Go ahead. Oh, uh, that's, but just... She starts screaming. I think I might have screamed a little bit too. I ain't gonna lie. I think I sharted in my pants. I yeah, say, I mean, literally. Too yeah. busy shitting your pants to scream. <laughs> you sing, you see a, hear a fart choir singing hallelujah and I shit my pants. <laughs> I gotta get that game. <laughs> I gotta get that game before the power goes out. What, is that Calico? No, yeah, Calico. Can't wait, man. No, fucking Alex Jones. Oh, yeah, you gotta do it, man. Fucking Alex Jones, Jesus Christ. <laughs> did you, Metron, Metronoid, did you watch that? Do you even care about, like, that thing that was happening on Zero Hedge with Destiny and all them, or no? No, I was, I was sleeping then because uh, <laughs> the next day I was uh, traveling 12 hours in a car. So We should have been sleeping. Yeah, I was gonna say, we should have been. <laughs> we should have, everybody would. Just yes, sleep. and... I don't know, I always feel uh, Destiny is uh, a poor man's idea of a smart man. Oh, sorry, a stupid man's idea of a, of a smart man. Right. Because he rattles off facts, uh, reads wikis, and, uh, and drowns you with his bullshit. <laughs> He's um, actually a human. And you and you can't react in a in an organic fashion, and uh, and it's not an organic uh, conversation. It's just it's just a fa fa fax machine spitting out uh, data after data after data after data. And pure autism, just all it is: fact, 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 fact. It's just white. But they aren't always facts either, because like you said, he he he's big on basically quoting Wikipedia for shit. Yes, and, and it's like, dude, you, you're a video game streamer. Stop. You're not a fucking geopolitical expert. Yeah, the main the people that debate like that is to jot down all his points, and when he's done talking, you go back to the top and you go slowly, and you just eliminate each of his points. But they won't let you. And and not just that, but uh, I think since he's a streamer and he's has he has a in quotation marks, big body of work. Uh, unfortunately, it is uh, it is more conducive to engaging to 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 engage with his point uh, after the fact, looking uh, through his library and uh, citing shit that uh, is continuously contradicting. Oh yeah. Well, for him, like I think the biggest mistake was allowing Alex Jones. To, well. Alex Speak. Jones could not have engaged with him no. because all it did was make him have more viewers. Which I know he's got a shitload as it is, but he doesn't deserve any of that. Like, go play video games, bro. 
You're not a political commentator. Well, he even said he only got into politics in 2016. It's like, bro. Yeah, I love when Jones told him, he says, you know, you, you literally paid attention to nothing before that. Well, the thing is, like, you can spout all these facts, but there's a level of common sense that if it, if you get that sense that something's bullshit, you should probably follow that thread to find out why it is you feel that it's bullshit. There's a lot of things you can throw out, like, oh, this is a fact. And I'm like, I don't know, that seems pretty inflated. Um, a good example is like the FBI uh, when they were quoting, oh yeah, 90% of, you know, firearm incidents are not stopped by, you know, a good guy with a gun. And then after some pressure, they're like, well, actually we kind of suppressed that. Here's the actual stuff. And it's like 75% of cases are stopped with a good guy with a gun. And uh, that's oh, not including the ones buddy. where, yeah, that's not including the ones where there was no gunfire that took place that the bad guy was chased off with the good guy with the gun. And at which point it jumps up to in the 90s. And we have no way of knowing all the ones that were prevented because the guy saw that there might be someone over there with a gun. 81 million votes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even that campaign slogan, like, everybody saw it was bullshit. You know, there should be more questions on that. And I think that's... I don't know why it is. That's the, the curse of 2020 is even when we're looking at bullshit in the face, we can't do anything about it. Like, we question, like, are you conspiracy theorist bastard? Well, I mean, look. We just, we just didn't count these until the very last minute. Lol. After, there's suddenly there's a break, a broken pipe, and suddenly all these boxes of ballots show up. But then after you counted them, somehow you had more voters than you have in the county. Oh, yeah, just like the old fucking joke goes, you know? My dad was a staunch Republican until he died. <laughs> well, it was like, and I don't know how true okay. it is, but supposedly back in 64, when Lyndon Johnson ran, you know, of course he took over for Kennedy, ran for election, that there were two counties in Texas that voted in alphabetical order. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and they, the entire county voted Democrat. And it's like, well, really? Yeah, that right there should be count grounds for stop everything wait a, like that little kid wait a minute yeah, wait, a, wait a goddamn minute here but i think that that's a huge thing is like when shit like that happens there needs to be i know this is next to impossible some neutral entity with the power to stop everything investigate that that's not right that that is an anomaly could not happen like the spike like why did a truck show up at the last minute and you suddenly have enough votes to win, just barely. Well, well you know, yeah, we're just like, sitting on them. No, that's not how that works. Why were you covering up windows? Yeah, yeah. explain to me, <clears throat> and I, I don't know if it's prevalent as that, so, but the voter, the, the, the ballot box packing, what were they called, the mules? Yeah. I watched that video twice. Even if you discount 90%, that still means it was going on. Even if you discount 90% of what that video showed, that still means thousands of votes were fraudulent, you know, were basically brought in by one person, which is not legal. But we're not allowed, nobody wants to really question that, and that's what drives me crazy about that. Well, I mean, there's been tons of uh, reports of people that are dead and have been dead for a while voting. Like, whatever office that took place in, they should have to stop everything. And they need to tear that place apart. Find out how the fuck did a dead guy vote? Yeah. yeah. How did he register? Who registered him? Yeah. Get everyone line up. And I'm gonna be honest. If anyone who's fucking culpable will be going to jail. Like, yeah, you can stop. Your ass going to jail. You need to know that this is a fucking. You either do this right or your ass goes to jail. Period. And yes, we are going to ask for your fucking ID to vote. Yeah. Like, I don't know, man. Like, you gotta have it for fucking everything. Yeah. Like, you can't go to Disney World without your ID. Grab an electric yeah. blade. No one is going to accept the election results after 2020, lol. Yeah, yeah, that's 100% true. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Except for the lol part. <laughs> no one's, no one's yeah. laughing because it's funny. They're laughing because it's awful. Right. It's like, oh god, this is fucking stupid. Yeah, no matter what way it goes now, it's, this, this next election's gonna be fucking. Well, 
Bam. Oh, the the problem Elon Musk has been going so ham on X today, crazy. calling out their plan for 2024 using illegal migrants to vote in major cities. Well, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Not surprised. I mean, I studied political science at, at university, and I know how the election systems, the elections work in Europe, and the registry we we are in are dependent on census data and uh, and us registering with the local authority that we are living within that jurisdiction and before any election so how it is here so before any election uh, they are sending out uh, letters, not emails, not not something like that. The physical letters to our address to notify us that we are registered in this and this district. That's when the election is, and uh, that's where we have to go if we want to vote. Well, that's there, how it's supposed to be here too. And there is there is no uh, early registration. There is no early voting. Nothing. Nothing that. Uh, voting is on on the weekend on uh, on a Saturday, no Sunday, on a Sunday, and uh, if you are uh, if you are invalid, if you are uh, handicapped, dream you can you they can request the, the local authority the to send the you um, make them citizens. A moving. Uh, like a well, box. a moving voting box, oh, that's a and cool. two or three, two or three, uh, I think, three or two officials go there. No, three officials go there uh, with a with a with a ballot box with uh, and with one ballot paper for you. You fill it out, you throw it in, and that's all. And nothing gets thrown. Uh, and and if you request that, you are removed from the from from your general uh, area of voting, so your general registry. And I think this is this is just what I think. Uh, the problem is that uh, neither of the American state agencies are talking with each other and sharing their information. And uh, of course they are. <laughs> And and since the information is not flowing in a correct uh, manner, they can't. Uh, they are incapable, of, physically incapable, of pulling a list of in which county who lives. But the easiest shit is to pull, pull out the IRS data and transfer it into the voting system. Well, all and, that yeah. system, all that knowledge is online. They don't want to. Right. Yes. It's not that they can't. They don't want to. Yes, I know, and th this is the frustrating part that uh, it could be done, but uh, but since they are not doing it, it muddies the water and erodes trust in the voting system. Yes, and added to that, uh, that the voting is not a national holiday where you have time to go and do the voting. Right. Added to that, that you have to register yourself before the election and they are sending out willy-nilly empty ballots just uh, just for the shit of it so this is a no. fucking shit show and none of uh, none of the parties are interested in fixing the problem i think because no. uh, because it can swing either way depending on the 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 party affiliate party affiliation of the local officials uh, who are overseeing the election. Yeah. Well, I mean, when I was a kid, I know, here's all the jokes. It's, I mean, I remember where you still had to literally go into a, a little cubicle, pull a curtain, and pull levers next to the name of the candidate. And the machine recorded your vote. That was it. And it seemed to work well enough. It's when we had to start fucking with it that we ended up with the shit we're seeing today. Oh, well, we'll make it electronic. 
then we make it electronic. Well, that's not right. That's not fair. How do we know that's accurate? All right, so we'll go back to a paper ballot. Then we get 2,000 in that clusterfuck here in Florida. Oh, the dimple chats. Yeah, that's how we get that shit because people keep messing with shit. Honestly, it, it doesn't <clears throat> matter how you vote as long as everything goes into one database and it's based off your social security number. And then yeah. you can go and verify that that is in fact how I voted. And if it's not how you voted, you can fucking dispute it. And uh, yeah, and, and that's, you know, it's when this, well, you know, you know what the cost of getting a voter ID is? Not free. Yeah, fucking free. free. <laughs> you fucking go fucking down there. Free 99, well, stupid. The, the worst part is they say that, oh, well, the black community is not smart enough for that. <laughs> yeah, you, what I heard wow, this, I was racist. like, racist. Are you racist? Me racist? <laughs> I oh, black people aren't smart enough for that. I'm like, bruh, really? Black people are you, can't, aren't are smart you enough to figure out the internet. Like, you ever tell them? Like, wow, you want to tell them that? Okay. You get an ass beaten. That's what you're going to get. Go I'll for it, you there. fucking racist. I I'll would be love there to help them. Your ass I, the thinly veiled racism, man. Now, one day, oh, wait, we're going to be like, yeah. hey, yo, you got to stop talking to us this way. Well, we're not fucking retarded. Right, they might be, but Tuh. they're like, "All right, my hip brother, Tuh. soul brother, hey soul brother, <laughs> like yeah. the hamburger my, hill when they're coming my up soul the brother. Hill. Yeah. All right, grandson, you now have a Kindle fully loaded with all of the Warhammer shit I can put on. <laughs> now it's my turn. Give me one. Eh. Eat, eat a day. Ah. That wasn't a requirement. <laughs> <laughs> What's it asking you to I was going to say, man, I don't really want one that bad, but if that's what I got to do. <laughs> I get you a Kindle with Warhammer books on it, right? I mean, depends on how many are on there, because they get kind of pricey. Uh, 265. All right, and uh, they're how much a pop? Uh, 10 bucks, minimum 10 bucks a pop. I'm talking like a $2,000 blowjob. It's not bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, I'm not gay, but $20 Jeez. is just $20. Yeah, Jesus hey, Christ. Yo. Let's fucking weigh our options here, man. Like, it's... Come on. See what I have to deal with, Metroid? <laughs> Jeez. Well, this this reminds me uh, to the Friday nights when... The shop closed, we were in the basement, we were playing, we had some booze, we had a good time. Everybody on this just stopped at basement and was thinking some kind of BDSM oh, thing going on. I was going to say, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, is this bitch well, hookers and blows? Metro Noise like, I got, I got this guy strung no, up. No, this, this place had uh, uh, tables and, yeah, yeah. 10, 10 to 15, 10, no, 10, 10 tables, uh, Terrain and uh, and guys playing, so it was sweaty and uh, wrinkled shape. I, I got one right down the street. I know just the kind of place you're talking about. <laughs> the bikers with the leather. Oh god, blue and oyster bar. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the <Massless> chaps. <laughs> the blue oyster bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. And the handlebar mustaches. Oh my god, yeah. Oh. Uh, how could I fucking forget? Macho Man plays like 10 times a night. You know how hard those things are to grow out? You gotta have one to get in there. Wow. Jesus. Big <laughs> batch like, oh my god. Like, dude, I didn't sign up for this shit. I'm never gonna get monetized. <laughs> just build models. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna make it past freaking 220. Bro, start charging you. Probably. <laughs> hey, hey, you made negative $14 off your last Rabbit video. Rabbit on that dream blade. <laughs> Dan Chal, would you like to rev my Harley? Oh, shit. Slim's, Slim's talking shit now. Oh, yeah. He said, would you like to rev his Harley? <laughs> Uh-oh. He wants you to try it. What's the most ever tried? Who I do? He wants you to ride a real bike. You know, when driving Harley comes up, I always think of uh, Harley Quinn from the Batman Arkham games. And I mean, that's fair. I, that's, that's fair. I mean, if you're going to rev a Harley, that's a good one. That's a Harley that's worth revving. Uh, there's a yeah, lot of Harleys right. out there. You know, you can even go with the actual motorcycle if you wanted to. But well, it's, yeah, if you're gay, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hobo drive to one of those. Dang. That's messed up. What kind of drives out piece of shit? It's fucking key rack. It's Harley keys. I don't have a Harley. I don't have a Harley. I got a BMW GS. I'm fucking cultured, bitches. Damn! Alright. That's a German. That's a German vehicle. That's the German vehicle. Yeah. Oh, look! That's BMW. Grabbing all that yeah. dream blade. Come find out Dan smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fat ratio right there. Damn. Yeah, I just got fucking wrecked. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I'll just shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'll just be over here yeah. in the corner. Shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. Right up. Shut the fuck up. What is it? Shut the fuck up Friday? Did he? <laughs> fuck it. It's goddamn. Shut the fuck up Tuesday. It's shut the fuck up Tuesday. <laughs> BMW nerd. <laughs> my, my wife has a BMW. She's rich. Car or? <laughs> Car. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, unfortunately, being in Europe ruined me for appreciating luxury cars. Because when the cops are driving BMWs and the cabs are Mercedes, you're not quite as impressed by those names anymore. No. Right. You want something exotic. Not really. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> I want my Ford! Yeah, I, but, but imagine that uh, the German engineering after 2005, 6, 7, I thought you could say after 1945. No, 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 no. Ah! Might have been a little bit over it. Yeah, that's it. So, the BMWs, Mercs, and all the other German shake up so much over engineered stuff in it that it's just like, I don't know, that's why you can throw it away after five years. It's It's just. It's just shit because uh, we are, because right now I'm in Germany and uh, the older marks, the older beamers, they are fetching insane prices compared to oh, yeah. their their modern com counterparts, and they are still cars and they are still going. Yeah, so, so you have to understand. After before 1945. Uh, the, the vehicle I had made by Bosch, I could go through fucking brick walls. No, literally, I could go through fucking brick walls. After, not so much. <laughs> yeah, not so much. No, um, yeah, that, I, had a, I had a Mercedes 190E. Wow. It was a cab. I hate you. It was you a cab, have, though. Before or after your uh, Ford model. He said, I hate you. <laughs> yeah, but it was a great car. It was fucking indestructible. It ran like it, it was a, it ran perfectly, and like I said, it was literally. I had bought some a buddy of mine had bought a cab that had been swapped out. We just took all the logos off, and when he left, he sold it to me. I loved the shit out of that fucking car, man. It would go forever. Bam. The routine maintenance bills on current BMW vehicles are insane. Yeah. Sorry to get me started on that. See that. Just, just so you know. Yeah, I hate you for that E90. I hate you from the bottom of my heart because it's a gorgeous car. It was a villain, villain car. Two of it, it. Was. in a in a very very good French movie or two. And it's still gorgeous and yeah. Yeah. fuck why? Mm. I want one, but I can't afford one. Not in a thousand years. Okay. Well, when the world goes to shit and we all attack George Soros and everybody else has got money. Yeah, it had a 190E. It was like saying, dude, what? I bought and? <clears throat> and? <laughs> and? And it's still a car today. And no, no much, not much fancy electronics, not much, I don't know. Blind spot coverage. And, I mean, now? And all yeah, the shit. It's just car? a car. It's just a car. It goes. You put, you put in fuel and it works. 
Uh, yeah, or gonna put electricity in it nowadays because everyone fucking sucks and they don't make fucking cars anymore. Well, everything's got to have a very short uh, turnaround so that you can make sure you buy more. Right. So they're literally fucking useless at this point. Let's make a company where you just, it's the only car you'll ever need for the rest of your life. You'll never need to fill it up again because it's got mm -hmm. a clear fucking reactor in the back of it. Yes. That's okay, why they went to the, war and fallout. That's that's the car right there. Only mine was tan. Instead of whatever the fuck color that is. Beige. Uh, yeah. That mine was beige. like a yeah, mine was like a darker tan. Fucking love that car. Yeah, the the general, the the usual uh, taxi color here in Germany. It's yeah. tan, 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 tan. Yeah, we just tan. we just got the logos off and cleaned it up and drove the living shit out of it, man. Because the cab drivers, or at least back then, really took care of their vehicles. The cabs were immaculate. They yeah. were, yeah. Yeah, it's so not like here where you get in a car and it's like, dude, look, there's a fucking dead muskrat back here. Yeah, that's Bernie. Just move him aside. <laughs> that's Bernie, the local homeless man. Just ignore him. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so. <laughs> and yeah, you could probably run that Bam. thing through a wall. LOL. Keep going. Badger, I would love to know the screening process a George Soros or Mark Zuckerberg bodyguard goes through. No, well, it can't be that well. That's why they go to all these islands to hide where nobody can really get to them. You know what we need to do? Let's hire some Somalian pirates. What? Not just like a couple of them, like lots of them. I need to get to know. Yeah, and we'll just say, hey, just go there. Just go there, man. You can do whatever you want when you get there. It's fine. Yeah, you can have them. You have free reign of whatever's there. Just it's go. It's like when you're playing fucking Command and Conquerors. You just, like, <laughs> auto-craft fucking troops, and you have them just, like, rally at the enemy base. And they just come out of the barracks and run straight over there. Endlessly. I mean, they're getting fucking murdered left and right, but there's an endless swarm of them just streaming. Fucking Zerg swarm. Yeah, we got it figured out. Uh, you are the captain now. Go on. Go get them. Yeah. I tell you what, if you make it there and get back, I'll make you a general. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 250 generals <laughs> standing around. God, it's like fucking checkers, man. If you make it to the other side of the board. <laughs> I'll king you, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, now, my now lord. Now I want my old car again. Damn it, I wish I hadn't, <laughs> I hadn't come up. I want my car back. Rava Alec Dream Blade. Fuck it, I'm in. Let's buy our own island too, LOL. Uh, I don't know. With you around, that's going to get weird. Yeah, that's going to get weird. I mean, you can bite right, at the Gulf, bite in the Gulf, but they are just sinking back, so... Mm. You're welcome to Slim Island. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> not, not touching that. Hey, you want to ride on my uh, my plane with me to Slim Island? Nope. No. Uh, why is there a dodo in every seat sticking up? <laughs> Jesus. It's hard right. fucking moving. It's, yeah, it's, it's part of the fucking strap-in system. <laughs> but why is it octopus themed? Why are they all animal themed? No, no, no. The, they do serve drinks. The bartender is fucking Bill Cosby. Yeah, no. Oh my god. In flight entertainment. Ah. In flight entertainment? Oh no, no, no. no. He, he comes out. <laughs> I'm Bill Cosby. Look, either we fuck or I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to show you my jello pudding pop. Yeah, I'm gonna show you my pudding pop. I like you and I want you. Oh, now we no. can just eat it, oh, no. or we can do it a hard way. Oh, 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 dream blade. Date rape drug. We got a dude in a plane <laughs> costume <laughs> flying a plane. Oh, I like y'all and I want y'all and you can't say no. Now we can do this way. He said he's got a furry flying the plane. Oh, no. uh, remember, 100 mile an hour tape turns no, no, no into. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Uh, Sparkles, Magic Paw. <laughs> you, you knew that name really quickly. Just that's that's who he's been talking to. Yeah, Sparkles Furry Paws, like my best bud. Uh, wait a minute. The first furry name that popped into your mind, uh, 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 implying there were other furry names that popped into your mind. Sparkles Furry Paw. Yep. Sparkles Furry Paw. <laughs> yep. Rabbit Alec Dream Blade. It's Dan. Are you surprised? LOL. 
Yeah, not yeah. really. Not yeah. Really. Were you surprised? Look, the, <laughs> the, 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 medics, the medics were always the most degenerate motherfuckers. <laughs> that is 100% true. It literally, if there was anything that smacked of any kind of sexually related crime, it was like, thir- we'd look over at third support, which was like our sister support unit. It was like, yeah, it's, it happened over there. No, 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 no. <laughs> it, it's you cab guys. No, no, we're innocents. No. That shit's over there. <laughs> This is weird sex stuff. That was over there. That's the That's over there. and mechanics and everything else. The fur fags are over there. Just go over there. <laughs> Just go over there. Like, yeah. We didn't even know about furries, but we had our own double <laughs> going on. <laughs> I mean, they busted six girls that basically, they had adjoining rooms. They were basically running a fucking bordello out of the barracks. That happened oh, in Okinawa. Yeah, they were running a fucking train. That happened I mean, in Okinawa in Camp yeah. Hanson. Yeah, these, these, and I mean, none of them were bad looking. Seventh column and, time. And you would basically go up the stairwell to this area, and there'd be some guy sitting there, and you know, you knew the, Grab an all that dream blade. the right ways to put it. Bring he me the lubricant applicator. No, the reciprocating two, 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 one. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. He didn't pick the girl, it's just two was available. <laughs> That's even worse. Jesus. So what the y'all saying is, I can't pick the bitch? No. no. Man, that's some bullshit. What were you saying, my friend? Please tell me that they were married. I think at least two of the six were, yeah. It's a pretty common thing, unfortunately. The worst were the guys that would go hogging, though. If you don't know what that is. <laughs> Dan's oh, like, no. No. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, God, yeah. no, I must say, but I can't imagine. I mean, it'd be, it'd be Saturday morning. I've got a hangover. i got to walk the barracks. Grab an all that dream school. blade. Boing, boing, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> It would, uh, I'd have to walk the barracks and I'd be like, you know, always do that one kid sitting out in the hallway having a smoke or something like, anybody come into barracks last night? Uh, well, a lot of me private. Uh, yeah, Wilson down there in room seven. Uh-huh. Fucking Wheezy still hasn't freaking added me as a friend or accepted my friend request. What a fucker. What a fucker. Yeah, what a fucker. He's gonna say, what a dick. But I go down there and knock on the fucking door. Open up. I uh, open the fuck up. Don't let make me go get my basket. They open up and they'd be like 400 pounds sitting over in the corner. <laughs> Whoa! It always be the little dude. It always be the little dudes. Hey, like, private. The there's a weight limit on the fucking staircase. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? I said, look. You. I, <laughs> Put the sheets back on yourself and get the fuck out of here. I mean, it'd be like. Because we stayed at, we literally lived in a Luftwaffe barracks. They had converted the Luftwaffe barracks. I'm like, look, I know this building is German engineering, which means it will hold up under anything, but I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's fucked up. And then you start thinking about it, and if she spoke English without an accent, okay, dude, that's somebody's daughter or wife, okay? Get her the fuck out of these birds, right? I'm better at the blade. club. The little guys go oh, for the big chicks did. because if they both were skinny, it would sound like a damn bone wind chime. <laughs> God, I almost spit my orange juice all over this damn. model. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I yeah, almost... It's, it's like, I know you better at the... Okay, how old is she? And they get that look on their face like, I don't know. You oh, oh, get the oh, fuck okay. out of my oh, store. Jesus Christ, man. That's all I need fucking MP and CID up here fucking falling up our ass with a microscope. Because of you fucking idiots. But she loves me, Sergeant. Oh, God. And, and she's pregnant. Oh. How can you tell? Uh, <laughs> well, it's not mine, but... <laughs> this is the reason why we have safety breaks, you stupid fuck. I was just going to say, we've all been to that safety brief. Of, okay, number one. The stripper does not love you. Yeah, she told me she was pregnant the day after we had sex. You fucking moron. You fucking retard. Uh, uh, Dan's probably had to give that safety briefing. I know Badger has. Mm-hmm. Rabbi, I'll let Dream Everybody's had to give that LOL fucking safety briefing. LOL when he briefing. didn't know Gee, how old she was, Dad. 
Who was more afraid? Him or you? Wait, what? He was he was too stupid to be afraid if she was underage, but I knew what would happen and somehow my ass would be in trouble. I don't know how. But because he's too stupid to have a reaction. Because, because I was gotta fucking get it too somebody. fucking retarded, yeah. The leader yeah, is responsible. Oh, hey, you. I don't know how, but this is your fault. Yeah, this is your fault. Fuck you. The so leader is responsible for all the team does or fails to do. And half the time, these weren't even my guys. I have, they, they, because they had this giant room that had been the Luftwaffe Commandant's office. And I'm like, can I have that room? Well, you got to be the barracks NCO, stupid me. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I didn't really know what that meant. That means every lotty dotty, everybody, the entire fucking company, I had to be responsible for the enlisted in the barracks. The you know, though, I wish that that existed in more places because, like, it's effective. Like, if you as the supervisor knows that every mistake any of your underlings make Grab an is going dream to be blade. something you have to answer for. Hook, line, and sinker. You know, you, you fucking get more, more traction. Like, there's more give a shit. That, that that is, you don't want to get fucked for it. Yeah, like, I always get pissed off when I see shit happen. And I'm like, dude, if I did that in the military, they would fucking have my ass. Like, it'd be fucking game over for me. Like, how are these people just like, well, you know, like, fucking Uvalde. I'm just going to throw it out there. That should never fucking happen. I think everybody that agrees. That never like, fucking happen. Yeah, gate them out <clears> looking <throat> at all these fucking dudes just standing there like, well, I don't want to get hurt. I'm like, dude, there's fucking kids in there. Go, go, go! Grab on all that dream blade. No accountability. A problem everywhere. There's just some fucking twink in there. Fucking go! Yeah. Well, get in there. Okay, this Who is the... Who's get shot? This is the part I can't figure out. I have been to Evaldi. Uh, I worked for a company that my district, among other states, was Texas. I had to go to Evaldi twice and spend two days each time doing presentations for the product we were selling. That town, where the fuck did all those people come from? Yeah, no shit. That town is out in the asshole right. of no, the best hotel was a Holiday Inn. Okay? This Wait, is Holiday Inn or Holiday Inn Express? Express. Oof. Express was the best hotel in town. The rest of them had names like Bob's Hotel, you know? And Bob's they charge, charge by the hour. It's like, you can go to the... You can go to the uh, wedding suite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if I told you some of the hotels I saw when I traveled, there was literally one. It was the jungle room. Literally, it was it was called the safari suite, and it was the only room available. Fuck yeah, heart shaped bed. One. No, <coughs> it was. It had like a lion print. Lot Austin Powers. No, 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 yeah, yeah. It it had a zebra Jack print. Jacuzzi in the living room. There was, there, yes, there was a jacuzzi in the fucking living room. Nice. Did they have a swing? <laughs> Classy. Uh, no swing. Uh, it did have like a, it looked like a bed frame made out of like unfinished lumber. And everything that was pictures of like lions and tigers and bear, oh my, all over the walls and just, and it was the only place available. And I took pictures and sent it to my wife. I said, if I don't call you in the morning, <laughs> This is my last place I was known to be. And he and sends her said, a picture of the gimp from freaking Pulp Fiction. Blade. She said back, in there, like, what are you doing in a horror house? In the hot tub. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. What the fuck are you doing there? It was some little pissant town in Iowa. Which, still, this is the last place on earth. I mean, literally, I go to this town. The closest restaurant has a sign. We take cash only. Don't accept no credit card. Don't even ask. And I'm like, the fuck happened here? Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, How many times? Don't doesn't accept a credit card. It's 2023, you fucking mongrel. Well, get a the, goddamn computer. At the time, <laughs> at the time, <laughs> yeah, it was at the time. It was like 2014, but still. Get a goddamn fair computer, you fucking asshole. They're cheap. Dude, no. Yeah, yeah. Literally, that's how I was afraid I was going to wake up to. That's a tax <laughs> evasion thing things. right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's, that's, that's what's good. going on there. That dude's tax evading. But, uh, yeah, probably. It was basically, and, and I know I know at least Badger's here, basically the restaurant was in a Quonset hut. 
Nice. <laughs> Where the fuck did you find one of those? So basically, you were at, you didn't Rather realize this, you were at a freaking old missile silo. In Iowa, yeah. yeah. Most likely. I'll be right back.
fight. What happened? What I miss? How about starting to see a little younger? See a Latino mom in Florida in the grocery store. She's like beating the fuck out of her kid because she got no chill care. Well. Oh, you want CPS? Call CPS. They will find you at the time they get here. I kill you. I mean, when I was a kid, I was I was that kid that always started getting stitches every summer. I was always getting some stitches. And I remember it was like, it was my head, or my thumb, or my eye, or uh, one of them. And finally, this, this lady comes into the room where they're finishing stitching me up, and she goes, is everything okay at home? Okay at home? No, I keep losing a fight to my brother. <laughs> your, your mom does like, yell at you a lot. Well, yeah, usually when I'm doing something stupid. <laughs> well, you, she doesn't hit you. No. No, no, no. I mean, she'll like smack me with a wooden spoon or something, but usually I deserve it. I went out and I said, hey, mom, they were asking if you hit me. She turns around and says, if I was beating him, you'd know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mom. That did not help this situation. Would you like to see how? I thought it was five foot tall, man. She had no <clears throat> chill. All right, got the green stuff. I mean, without touching a kid, you can give scars that uh, last a lifetime. So. You think it's just an extra? Give him a couple more. Come again? So it's I said, give him a couple more. Oh. <coughs> yeah, pretty yeah, much I the mean, same thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, still remember when I called one of my teachers stupid, and then I was, I was six or seven. Called him what? Stupid. 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 Oh boy. To be fair, she was pretty stupid. <laughs> Yes, yeah, but, but, an asshole. but yeah. she was the teacher, so she had a paper that she's right, and uh, and I was I spent about whole afternoon in the kitchen facing my mother in silence, working up the because working up to the courage to tell her why was why was I uh, in detention and why uh, she had to spoke with the teacher. <laughs> You know what I did, I know what I did, but I had to tell her, and I was scared shitless. And she didn't do anything, just sit, sit there and look at me. Well, for a whole afternoon. Like, you know, yeah, well, mom, the teacher was being real stupid, so I let her know, she's being fucking stupid. I mean, See, it's not my I fault, mean, mom, you raised an IQ of freaking one million. Yeah, I'm fucking smarter than my teacher, I don't know what to tell you. Because, so, um, for parenting. example, me growing up in the, the, the late 70s into the early 80s, going to a Catholic school, they would just beat you <laughs> and then send you home. Yeah, the nuns would hit Where you, you would get beat out. again. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> because I would go home and I was raised basically by my mother and my grandfather. And my mother was this little five foot tall Polish woman. With no shit <coughs> to my grandfather was, like I told you, like a World War II parachute. So there were no fucks to give there either. And, um, no mercy. I would get the beating at school, but I literally was in fear of the one when I got home because I'd get home and grandpa would come in and he'd sit down and he'd open the paper. Got a call from uh -oh. the sisters today. Oh, God. I gotta, I gotta interrupt you on this. Listen. <laughs> Some guy named Nerdling, okay, says in the in realm of uh, female space marine. Another no, no. route that could could be the plot device dimension that is known for mutating things. If GW wanted, one thing they could do is go, oops, a shipment of Gene Seed got tainted by warp fuckery. It's now only increase. compatible with female humans. The new face like female space marine upgrade sprue is available. Why do they want this so, I mean, I know why they did but so they're weirdos. But I mean, they're like the one idiot earlier, the the, the fucking butterball turkey fucker, that was like, ah, 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 you know, sisters of battle seem like a cop out. And so I said, do you even, bro? Do you even read the lore? They are, they are much cooler than space marines. Sisters. Sisters are, dude. 
vote. And I don't, I don't hear a lot of actual women asking for this. That's what I find hilarious. Well, there's none. There's zero. And women. Because any woman that doesn't isn't on their side isn't a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Women play three fucking factions: Necrons, Tyranids, and Hulks. That's it. That's correct. That's true. There might be a, a Chaos Space player out there, but... <clears throat> yeah, so no, the OST is the devourer of all life, and... Like, it attracts like. I do notice that most of the Sisters players are guys, and it's like, usually some of the more masculine guys, you know what I mean? Because they're fucking cool. They are, they are. And somebody was like, well, you know, what have they done that a Space Marine didn't? I said... Celestine, first of all, resurrected two canonesses and then took on a demon prince and kicked the fuck out of him. How many space marines have done that? No, I mean, it Ooh. doesn't matter. It's the fact that if they ever done anything close to what a space marine did, there's a huge difference. Yes. They're just a human in power armor and has a shitload of belief Rather behind what they're blade. doing. Denge, all my wife legit looked at the Tyranids and said they were cool. After yeah. saying Lion L. Johnson was hot. Exact though, wow, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, never yeah she's one up, one down. She's fucking net zero. She's got a daddy fixation uh, now. Yeah, yeah, this kinda this lion now. He's kind of old. He's old. He's kinda, I yeah, think it's, old. It's, he's got the beard. It's, he's got the mustache. He's got it all. It's Charles Dance and the uh, It is. It, it really is. You know what it is? It's the fucking fact that he's got all those secrets. He's mysterious. Yep. Honestly, yeah. Ravenolic Dream Blade. Haha. Ha. <laughs> Can't make slip. <laughs> oh my god. This is a good crew. My wife's like. I told her why I said he looks like a young Charles Dan. She's like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I should, I should, I should show her. Of course, she likes, she likes dark-haired men, so I don't think who would it be? Corvus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is she, is she into fucking black metal bands? No, 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 no. I'm trying to think of dark-haired. My bullet for my, my bullet for my Valentine. Conrad yeah. or Corvus? Stuart Gilliman. No, no, she doesn't look really blonde men. She looks blonde men look effeminate. Yep, with his fucking crew cut. Rather <laughs> look dream kind blade. of effeminate. Ferris Manus. Yeah, probably Ferris Manus. I love how it said Manus. <laughs> the Flash is weird. We. The real Ferris Manus would see the opposite. Yeah, don't yeah probably. Yeah, Ferris Manus. Yeah, the kind of rugged, sort of beat up look to it. Ferris Manus. Ferris Manus. 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 That's the new pronunciation. Just came out. 2024. Ferris Manus. 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 Ru yeah, Rugaldurn. 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 Black minerals. This is my Rabbit favorite Black Dream Blade. I, I would say Jack Ty Khan, but you can't really fuck his name yeah, up. Yeah, his <laughs> name's already pretty fucked up, so. It's yeah, actually Jack Lemon Ty. Russ. Oh my fucking god, <laughs> I'm an idiot. All Lemon, the time. Lemon, Lemon Russ. Russ. It sounds like a fucking flavor of tea. <laughs> uh, no, we're not. We've Ray, seen it before. And you'll have a lemon rust, please. Uh, yeah, no, he's blonde. I mean, so yeah, yeah. I guess it's be dream be blade. First murders. <laughs> lemon yeah. rust. Uh, what? Lemon lemon rust. <laughs> <It actually laughs> Can I get a lemon rust, please? <laughs> yes, I'd like a lemon rust, please. Well, that's how he spelled it was lemon. Oh, you bastard! So, like, you tricked the lady on the internet. That poor lady. I know. How dare you trick that poorly? Man, you pieces of shit. Digital piece of shit. Grab all that dream blade. Ha ha ha. God damn it, Slim. Lol. <laughs> uh, are you, am I the only one that's mean to Siri? 
I don't even talk to the bitch. No, I don't need to Google, because Google will sometimes randomly fucking start recording me, and I'm like, Google, you fucking piece of shit, stop fucking recording me. And Google's like, you know, I have Felix too, you know, and I'm like, oh my god, the AI no, just the fucking guilt hit me. No, the Rabbit fuck you don't. Go back to Skynet and cry. Dan Jahl has information that could lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton. Oh, no, uh, dude, dude, talk oh, to me. No, 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 no. no. God Listen, damn it, Jerry. I'm in great health, and I will never harm myself. I'm in great health, and I will Just never like kill McAfee. myself. Oh, man, yeah, I know. It's like, yeah, he was, uh... Yeah, hello, Suicide Hotline. I'd like to place an order. <laughs> hello, Suicide Hotline. I'd like to place an order, but I know something about Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, so I named my room a shit face. And I hooked it up to Siri, and she literally says, Shitface has stopped working. <laughs> uh, God damn it, fucking shitface. You should have named his shitbird. Don't listen to him. I heard what he said about fucking those shitface. Fucking shitface, stop working again, lazy piece of shit. This is why you don't fucking pay him. Oh, that's what you should have named it. A lazy piece of shit. And you could say, she could say, A lazy piece of shit has start, stopped working. So my, my wife despises talking to other women, so she'll yell at the fucking voice of the GPS in the car. <laughs> Tell that bitch to shut up. <laughs> but you do. You get mad at the voice of the GPS. I don't know what you're talking about. It's because I've shut it off. That's why we don't have one anymore. I had to turn it off after. <laughs> <laughs> she argues with it. <laughs> Listen here, you dumb bitch. I'll turn left when I want to turn left. Exactly. exactly. Make a U-turn. Shut your mouth. As she's your flying. Your fucking whore mouth. As dick. she's flying off the cliff. <laughs> yeah, no shit. O'Doyle rules. <laughs> yeah. You tell that whore to sh. You tell that bitch to shut the fuck up right now. I will put my fist to this fucking screen. Uh, yes, sir. I will now lower my volume to one. I Hi, Principe Tergor Rosencruz. The GPS voice is really annoying, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Which well, one? depends on the one you got. <clears throat> I turn them all off. Well, I don't drive anymore, so... Ravenolet Dreamblade. Holy shit. I want Lord Metal Man to do the GPS voice for me. Holy yeah. shit. The time left, you stupid know. asshole! We went up five <laughs> subscribers. Thank you. <laughs> remember when we used... Remember when TomToms used to actually be a separate device? I got John Cleese. I literally Damn, downloaded nice. a John Cleese. He wrote, you need to turn left to head. Or not. I don't really care. <laughs> I thought for I sure. Really care. I thought you said like, Tauntauns. I'm like, what? <laughs> John Cleese? Yeah, Hell yeah. Some, soup. Some, some, some lemon rust and some wonton soup. My favorite GPS voice was Kevin Conroy as Batman. Oh, that would be cool. Oh, dude, way to tug at my heartstrings, Metroid. God damn it, dude. Why? It was really good that it lasted, I don't know, three months, and then the yeah. license ran out. Other and they... Ravenolic Dream Blade. Yes. That man no more. It's time to turn left. I bet that right. Bad right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we imagine a Bob Ross fucking one? I think Mr. Turner used to have this in my exam. I think he could do it right up here. Ravenolic Dream Blade. But at least there is still or plenty Steve, of Or uh, Steve Irving. Oh yeah. Crikey, you're in Mr. Ted. Go ahead and turn around up here. Just make sure you watch out for that stingray right there. You know, just gonna, I was going to say, yeah. there was the other <laughs> one. Oh, just go, oh, yeah. oh, no, you can't do that. <laughs> you my fucking favorite asshole. of the were like, it's a dude that's got a gun up to a stingray, and the guy's just got like a teary face and it's not the stingray. I just got told that wasn't funny. What, what I said? No, no, me saying about the, the, the update was just... <laughs> Oh. Apparently that's not funny. Oh, you fucking... You took a shot at Steve. Oh, God. Ever since we lost Steve Irwin, our world has fallen apart. Well, I mean, it was Steve Irwin... No, it's it Harambe. Was Harambe, yeah. Somehow that put us into... Fucking gorilla! Stupid fucking gorilla. I learned it after mention. 
noticed a big fucking child that's falling into the old Grab wallet, yeah. dream blade. JFK GPS voice. No. Um, Ask not what your turn can do for you, but what you can do for your turn. No, it would just be nothing, I guess, because, you know, you took a headshot. Or so. bang. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> All right. We got yeah, some green stuff going on. It would be really good, like, Helen Rick on a snake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, that and the really condescending. Use direction. Make that turn possible. <laughs> yeah, that I ain't gonna lie. When that when I found out that dude died, I was like, oh really? That fucking sucks. Yeah, I don't sucks. usually get too upset about Hollywood. Him and Bill Paxton. Yeah, yeah. Well, Paxton especially was like, dude, man, come on. Look at the backs of both of your hands. The one that makes the shape of L is your left hand. <laughs> Ronald Weasley! <laughs> it's bloody old son. <laughs> You're looking at the ultimate badass. You do not want to fuck with me. There's somebody, somebody. I want Brian Blessing. You missed your time! Are you retarded? Are you fucking retarded? But there's no way to turn it down. I mean, one. Oh my god. We will blast with a subwoofer and send some ms Just so. Just yeah, you have the you have the volume level for it. That's what my wife does when I get loud because of my hearing. Oh, she's like, Brian, you're, you're doing it again. <laughs> Who's this Brian you speak of? She's like, I've got a noise cancelling headset on, I have something on the TV, and I can hear your fucking voice. Ravenolet Dream Blade. Joe Biden GPS. Miss your turn every time. Joe Biden GPS is missing oh, your turn every Okay, it took me a second. It's like, oh, so Joe Biden? What? So, uh, Jim, let's talk Jim. about those tunnels in New York. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, ooh, that's awkward. Well, that's Hussy Juice for you. They yeah. are a whole different breed of crazy and... And they breed like rabbits. <coughs> I'm, I'm thinking those tunnels were used for child sex trafficking. And some other nefarious things. But I'm not sure. I'm just going based off of their reaction it's, to the police. Yeah, it's um, it's a little suspicious. Yeah. I I know these people. I care not the <laughs> not the not the Hasid Chavad Lubovic people in New York, but uh, the Lubovic clan. I know I know them. I, I have I have uh, acquaintances who are Jewish and uh, some of them are within the sect and uh, they are very attached to their uh, religious in institutions and they are very attached to the prayers and uh, and the religious services and I can see that uh, during COVID, they made these so so they can have their uh, so they can have their religious get religious gathering, and then after that they kept using it because uh, since uh, it's it's a sect within a sect within a sect, uh, they have that mindset that uh, we are doing what we are doing, and uh, everybody can fuck off. Why was there a mattress with stains on it? I think uh, I they were doing circumcisions the there. The tunnels were made six mm. months ago, though. Six months prior? Well, that's what they're saying. I mean, mm. who knows? Well, with well, they are going to. How to put it? 
nobody is going to talk. They they will take their punishments and uh, and the community will support the families of those who were caught. Right. And we are not going to know well effectively anything about when they did it, why they did it, how they did it. We are just going to know that it wasn't there, I don't know, since before when, when the last inspections uh, was there, and it's there now. And and as far as the circumcisions, I hate to say, but that is extremely plausible as well. If they were drug during COVID, I know everybody saying six months ago, but I don't know how anybody could really know that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. <clears throat> How would they even know that? I know I know the one, supposedly the tweet, where the guy said he kept hearing something under his apartment. And he says, I don't have a Yeah, voice. Yiddish. Yeah, I kept hearing Yiddish under my floors, and I don't have a voice. Mm -hmm. So I think it's been going on for a while, and... Yeah, Dragon yeah. Olive Dream Blade. How did the tunnels get found? Probably from people reporting the sound. Or shit, maybe <laughs> shit started collapsing. Who knows? Yeah, and you... You have to, to also factor it in that uh, in New York, these these communities are really packed in. They they have their quarters. They well effectively built up their own, own quarter. So I wouldn't say segregating, but uh, but migrating close to one another. Yeah, they they segregate out out on purpose. They, yes. Sure. Yes, yes, and and again in these Jewish Jewish sects, the the prayer room, the rabbi, and uh, and the and the ritualistic bathing places are really important. And during COVID, none of this was kosher, but they were doing create their they own were cultural anyway. bubbles. Yes, effectively they are creating their own bubbles. And uh, it's, in, uh, it's interesting to see because uh, there is, I don't know the name, uh, it doesn't come to me, but uh, in upstate New York there is a... There is a city or, or small town that is... Uh, that was effectively taken over by this uh, by this Hasidic, this Chabad Lubovici uh, Hasidic sect, and uh, that country they are in, uh, they what was the statistic? Yes, the they have the most uh, households below the poverty line, poverty line, and uh, most of the. Most of the food stamps uh, within the county go there yeah. because uh, the women don't work; they are effectively taking care of the children, and uh, and they have I don't know six, seven, eight fuckload of children, and uh, maybe the men work uh, for the Chabaluvici organization, maybe don't. But the main purpose of their life is uh, studying the Torah. So very low income uh, families and and very tight in groups. Yeah, um, a friend of mine is Jewish, but his family is from Morocco. It's a whole different. And he was from New York, and he couldn't stand. It's like I should visit. Yeah, yeah, nobody could stand them, and <laughs> nobody could stand them, and they take off this. Yeah, that's you mentioned that too. Uh, it's not that we have the the privates uh, for these uh, for these sects are effectively evil flesh, and they can't touch it. So when you see these uh, Hasidic Jews with their uh, those are under waist. You see always that there is a, a line going down on the left or the right side. That's what they use when you, when they have to piss. Interesting. 
Yes. Uh, I had the pleasure of uh, working with uh, working in close proximity uh, with with Hasidic Jews and knowing some of them just in passing and uh, and I picked up on some things. Yeah. And <coughs> the it's always uh, it was always uh, interesting in interesting for me because uh, how to put it uh, where I worked there was always uh, a big uh, transit of these Hasidic Jews because uh, they were making yearly pilgrimages on various dates to various uh, grave sites of famous rabbis. Right. And there were always uh, the man. The man always uh, came in. They wouldn't talk to women and uh, and wouldn't have the lives, their own lives, with their children. And they always had a big load of uh, luggage, a shitload of hand luggage. And double that, they had the the head boxes and the and the prayer pillows, or I don't know what. And it was always uh, always a shit show because. Uh, because when they come in from Tel Aviv or from Eindhoven or, or other such places where uh, they have their, uh, their bigger communities, uh, they were always like, just go away, we are not going to deal with it. And since we were a base, uh, main base, and uh, we had corporate above us uh, watching everything, we had to shatter the dream that uh, they can do what they please and and get their money for the extra they wouldn't want to pay it was always nice yeah and let me tell you uh, they got away and not just them the, the traveling uh, the traveling public in in direction to Tel Aviv got away with shit that would have got them hot at Ben Gurion. Let's just put it that. Well, I know there's a lot of problems in the show itself. Where, where, uh, yes, the Hasid, the Hasid, yes, the Hasid yeah. community. Yeah. Yes, they are not. Uh, they are not the military service. Yeah, they don't contribute much to the country. The Frankie, the Chinese. Yes, and, and they, are, they are costing very much because they are not uh, working, but uh, living in government subsidies. Yeah. But that's what you get when you import every uh, water and fresh and Jew into the country. And, the, and for me, my, from my experience, the funniest thing is that they call each other Nazi during check-in, during boarding, when they have a problem with each other. Nazis oh yes, the first flying. Boarding. Yeah, yeah, I did yeah. notice that because there's quite a few in South Florida. And, uh, yes, so so that's why calling me a Nazi. Oh, okay, Jews call each other a Nazi, so it's it's not really an insult. I had and to that, literally go sit down with one and say, look, I need to collect three months. Has to invoices. Yeah. Oh, they're just like the Nazis coming to take everything. I'm like, you took our product. You left it here. We have a contract. It doesn't matter, you know, what are you talking about? This is, contract is not legitimate. And I'm like, you signed it. I didn't know what I was signing. Oh, do I hear victim mentality? Uh, oh, dude, you have no idea. And lack of integrity. There is no <clears throat> the victim mentality in that community is like 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 you said. It's just 
with each other. <laughs> you know, that's, yeah. the, that's the funniest part. And they're just, you know, oh, you're taking my money. What is my family going to eat? You work in a restaurant. <laughs> Tell them to eat the food. Eat the food, stupid. And, you know, he's calling me a Nazi, and I'm just sitting there staring at him. Like, hmm. These are my people. Or at least part of them. <laughs> I can't imagine why they left. Yeah, my, when, they, when they got very agitated, I started talking to them in German. Oh, God. That's, that, that's quieted out everybody down. Uh -uh. <laughs> you monster! After that, I'm you I'm monster! Almost 190. I'm blonde, I have blue eyes, and I usually crop my hair very short. So. Talk about emotional damage. <laughs> yes! Emotional <laughs> damage! <laughs> And of all people, the Germans putting up with this, and I'm like, man, they really, really broke with you guys, didn't they? Oh, well, they're putting up to a point, I think. They're putting up to a point because uh, right now the coalition that's uh, that's in power, the socialists, the greens, the So there has to be red, so the Linke, they are stumbling from crisis to crisis and, uh, and cutting down the tree under themselves. So the, the conservatives, the CDU and the CSU are, I think, coming back big time. Well, because they see that uh, the, the RDF is, uh, IFD, sorry, IFD is killing itself. And the new far left, far right amalgam is uh, is gaining momentum. So they have to address the concerns that uh, popped up, popped up in the last three or four years. But uh, right now, nobody is looking back from the America and the open borders. You can't imagine. It's just. Yeah. This, like I said, the, the biggest problem when I was there, there was this very small Turkish community. And they hated it. And I mean, it was tiny little area, but it was literally all the trouble in town was in that one area. Now I'm multiplied by 
them. Yeah, and that's that's just and they they hated you. I mean, if you got a German to sit down and talk about what are the problems in this area, it was always that part of town. They just literally wanted it wiped off the map. <laughs> I'm like, now that's the Germans I know. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, that's that hasn't changed. Unfortunately, just the just the rate, ratio got worse, and not just. And now we have. Turks, Kurds, <coughs> some Africans, Somalians, Eritreans, uh, I think, yeah, so various African, African nationalities uh, and, and Asians, Afghans, Pakistanis, Indians, whatever the fuck so Bangladeshi those two so and I love calling <laughs> I love calling them Asians and yeah I know how the map is set up but it seems very disingenuous you know it's not we're not talking like Chinese so when you say Asians people are like oh hey no not those Asians go back to school yeah, not those, geography not those the, the Chinese and the Koreans uh, it's interesting because there are not so many Chinese in Germany, but uh, Vietnamese very much, uh, very much so. And but, but, I, and but they, I love how the news calls them Asians, like people from the Middle East. Yeah, I know Southwest Asia, Southeast Asia. I, I get that. It still just seems to be very disingenuous. Like you know, they're trying to put something over. Yep. Well, from from Europe, it's I think it's it's some European heritage, and all of Asia as as one big block when it's multiple big blocks because a Russian is not a Chinese and not an Indian and not a Pakistani and, and if you mix them together, you are you have a very very volatile situation. I think it's just uh, it's just some backwards thinking uh, from my perspective. Okay, well, Alex Jones. What happened? What happened? Alex Jones again. What happened? Oh, I got the game now. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh God. Turning the frogs gay. Ooh. Ah. Oh. So, so just some classic yeah, ice just, roller. Yeah, basically so. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you go to boss to the walls. I'm gonna be so busy laughing at shit, I'm just gonna fuck the game. goes oh okay frogs (laughs) 
they spit rainbow fucking <laughs> goo. Wait, what? The gay frogs spit rainbow Oh, goo. oh, I was like, I don't remember him saying what? <laughs> when did he say that? <clears throat> That's funny. Ravenola Dream Blade. They're turning the frogs gay. <laughs> he had to get the robot to see it. <laughs> Turn on the frogs oh, gay. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? What? Right. <laughs> said, this is as fake as Big Mike being a woman. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> like, awesome. God. Oh, man, this is the best 1776 I've ever spent. Instantly demonetized. Oh, I have to be monetized first. <laughs> Damn, we're actually more like canceled, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. If it happens, it happens. I already had my my old political channel back in the day was canceled. Straight up freaking deleted it for me. Oh god, Bill Gates. <laughs> I'm gonna lower the world's population. <laughs> billionaire. Oh my god. That's awesome. That is fucking hilarious. Okay, yeah, whoever made this game knew exactly what the fuck they were doing. Oh uh, was I mean he voices yeah. it too. I'm sure it was Alex Jones. Oh, <clears throat> Pistol. You out of ammo? No, I just got single hit. And you're there's you don't have health. You just have. Oh, so it's like Blaster Master, that old Nintendo yeah. game, with your gun. You get hit and you lose gun power. Well, you lose a life, but you got nine lives. I just. <laughs> he just said, I, I thought you did computers, Libtard. Huh. <laughs> oh, damn. Fucking MatPat's quitting YouTube? Holy shit. Who? MatPat. No idea. Game Theory. No clue. This off. The lottery, the lottery is rigged. This is such a. I don't get what the fuck, Jesus Christ. This is so fucking stupid. Where'd Dan go? He's just going all out on this fucking shit. Ha. Hey, what's that? I spoke his name and he comes back. I think where's Dan? My power went off, so I figured I'd let the dog out. This little bastard goes out and lays in the rain for ten minutes. Yeah. I'd rather be out here than in that dangerous ass house with the flickering lights. I'm like, dude, get in the house. Nope. No, I think I'm going to sit here, Dad. I think I'm going to sit here and soak up all this sweet rain. I literally said, where'd Dan go? And then you popped right in. Oh, no, we lost the minigun. <laughs> Are you playing the Alex Jones game? Yeah, he's playing yeah. the oh. Alex Jones game. Oh, dude, you got to jump, bro. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm old. Leave me alone. No, you're not allowed to be old. Stop being old. Oh, is that Dr. Fauci in a tank? Don't, don't, don't! Oh my god! See yeah, that? The timing is his jumps really slow. <sighs> okay, jump now! Uh, no, no, no. It, it, <laughs> there's a there's a lag there's a jump lag with the space bar. Maybe a controller. Dr. Fauci. That's what you gotta do, not be there. It's not jump, it's just not be there. Dr. 
Dr. fucking Fauci. Did you get to get boosters? Fuck me. Oh, you're gonna win anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, save the puppies. Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, Dr. Fauci was, uh... Oh, was that's right. I remember now, yeah. Yeah, the fucking sand fleas. How long does it take for a dog to die being eaten alive by sand fleas? Yep. One more reason that dude needs to be taken out in the street and dealt with. Well, it's not just him. Like, it's whole fucking... Oh, I know. Whoever fucking was involved in that. Yep, I agree. Fucking <laughs> me. <laughs> you lose your nerve. The one time. Oh, San Francisco. Oh, look at it. Oh my god, shit. Look at it. It's fucking perfect. It's accurate. Oh, there's no one shooting. You can't silence me, one card. How are you shooting the homeless? Oh, no, oh, they're not. It's a cyber. Yeah, they're high. Oh, that's dead, man. The moon landing was a hoax. <laughs> the moon landing was a hoax. This game is so fucking stupid. Is that supposed ah, to be shit? Oh, yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> <Thank you down. laughs> Ew, stinky homeless poo goop. What do you collect? What are those fucking. Uh, I don't. I think they give you points, but. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> oh, did you just kill a furry? Frog. Okay, frog. Kill, the gay frog. Oh, kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Oh no, bag lady. <laughs> oh, they go, yeah, yeah. Get wrecked. <laughs> Get wrecked. Say hello to my little friend. He laughs when he says that. You know this motherfucker that is. This is as fake as Big Mike being a woman. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to get demonetized. <laughs> now we're going to get canceled for sure, boys. Hey, Weezy, I know what we can do on the next stream. Yeah. Let's see if there's multiplayer. Whoa! Oh, Whoa! What's coming out of that tent? I don't think I want to know. Ducks in the park. Ducks in the park. He doesn't. Oh, he's at the lights. Maybe the line, Mark. Machine gun. Machine gun. Yeah. Right. Now I have a machine gun. What happens if you? <clears throat> Walk on the poop. Oh, no. oh it slows you down. Oh. Oh. He's got a knife. Oh, yeah, he's fucking brutal with a knife, man. Ow. Wow, he's globalist. Oh, Joe oh, Centaur. The Joe Centaur. Oh, <laughs> What the actual fuck is this? Oh my god. I can't hear you. Shut up! This game is truly fascinating now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, fuck these gay frogs. I don't stupid. know. <laughs> <laughs> Lottery is rigged. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat your ass. I'll eat your ass. Still in the line, Bart. Oh, damn. Right. Gay frog character for Get him, boys. They're turning the 
freaking frog game. <laughs> <laughs> Gay frog paratroopers, oh god. The elites don't want you to know this. Oh, that's a giant pile of shit. Holy crap. That is a giant pile of shit. This is as fake as Wait, who thinks San is? What a surprise. It's actually accurate. Gonna have multiple enemies come at you from behind and just keep firing at him to to kill it. This is what we're watching, everybody. This is the dumb shit that we're getting up to. The ducks are part of the You can take them home. I have 558 ducks. The number changes, I think, every time. 558 ducks. So while we're waiting on this glue to dry, uh, oh, we're right. watching this. Just jump up. And that's what you hear with Alex Jones's voice. Machine gun. Machine gun. I'm gonna eat your ass. Sneaky poo poo hobo tent city. So go out now. Purchase yours. Yeah, boy, purchase your purse. It's only 1776, kids. Buy it now. Oh, damn. Did you see the homeless man just fucking eat oh, himself yeah. out of there? He had to make way for those... Wait, what the hell? Say hello to my little friend. In tech jail. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's free the Oh, my God. It's Chuck Zuckerberg. Get him. You will join the Matrix. You want to join the Matrix? What the hell? It's Cuck Zuckerberg. You will be silenced. Fuck you, Zuck. Oh! Oh, bro, you got banned. You will join the Matrix. Oh! Watch the mines. Watch the hammer. Ravenolet Dream Blade. You are the resistance. You are the resistance. <laughs> you are the resistance. <laughs> oh, they're all MAGA. Suck, MAGA 2024. I'm saving the paper. Suck a big, big lizard nerd. Suck a big, big lizard nerd. That's so stupid. Epstein may be dead, but as I understand, oh no, oh no, oh, this would be monetized. Everybody, that are being turned into a stew. My wife's standing over their mouth, hanging over forever. I've already been on the show. Oh, this is leading the charge. I'm going to get between her and those poor babies. They will not be turned into stew, not on my watch. Oh my god, the island. Go. Save the babies! He says so fucking the island. <laughs> Say hello to my Did you hear that? Yeah. The answer to 1984 is 1776. This is as fake as Big Mike being a woman. <laughs> <laughs> They literally add another 10 years to your fucking demonetization age that we said that. Yep, probably. Oh god, what the I know. Gay bats. Oh, they are gay bats. Gats. Turning the bats gay. Machine gun. I'll eat your ass. <laughs> Man, talking about turning frogs gay and eating ass, that's pretty gay, Mike. That's pretty gay, Alex. Mike. 
The moon landing was a hoax. I like if this is a real minigun and just be burnt on your out of ammo. Yeah. Machine gun. Oh, come on. Oh, man. that, that was, I got hosed. That was what stupid. You. Well, he is a masturbator. Wow. Ah. Shoot the crypt. Testosterone. Five Jones is the type of person that would need testosterone. Oh shit. Yo. So testosterone means extra lives, apparently. Say hello to my little friend. Oh no. Oh, there it is. A mosque. No, that's what uh, Epstein's. Oh, yeah. Big oh, shit. Bill no. Clinton. Oh, no. This level might get me. <laughs> Just too much shit going on. <laughs> you gotta work on the macros. Yeah, there you go. Where are the cigars? <laughs> Where are the cigars? Monica, where are the cigars? <laughs> I had an El Monica. <laughs> oh, I'm so cool. I shoot for that saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this one might actually get me. The answer to 1984 is 17. 1776. Pedo. Take that, Pedo. Oh, she got it. That wasn't the inbox, huh? Alpha power. I'm here to save the innocent babies. Ah! This is a machine gun. We are the 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 <laughs> Very bigly. I like to see. I like to tell you that. I like to tell you that. Bats do. <sighs> There's no one better. Okay, Alex, I got it. There you go. The bats won't get us. They won't give us the China virus. Yeah, that's Alex. That's Trump. Yeah, you know. You sure? <laughs> 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 Alex, you are a patriot. And a hero. Oh, what are those things? Uh, the plant? Trump lander? No, the thing that was on the ground looked like it was about to fire at you. Oh, Trump lander, I just caught Dream Blade. Yeah, I just realized that. It. It's Trump lander. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, look at those fake news gay frogs. Wow. <laughs> fake news gay frogs. <laughs> uh, gay news gay frogs. Oh, ratioed. Safety Look at Ronald. all the China virus. Save me, Donald. Say hello to my little friend. Alpha power. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Who's the boss? Oh, oh Hillary! Yes. Yes. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I came, I saw you die. Woo, woo, woo. <clears throat> Crooked Witch of the West Wing. That's Nancy Pelosi. The fucking Hillary. Oh, yeah, that is Pelosi. I thought it was Hillary at first. <laughs> <laughs> I came, I saw you die. Yeah, that's Hillary. The moon landing was a hoax. Move, move, move. Ah, Take out the bathroom. Right. Yeah. I came, I saw you die. You gotta kill the crooked and lips of the left wing. Kill Killery. Move, move, move. Get him, see that? Oh, 
We had information about the crooked Hillary. What's so funny now, dumb witch? <laughs> Mission complete! Coof bats. This game's so stupid. Fucking gay bat frogs. Castro Jr. is on the loop. Oh shit! Canada. The Canadian truckers are protesting the oppressive Canadian government. All of their funds have been frozen by the New World Order banks until the citizens are elect. Castro Jr. must be overthrown! Well, we're gonna fight Trudeau next! <laughs> oh, where's the Canadians? Oh, oh shit. no. no. Oh my god, this stupid info war is so real. Oh my god! <clears throat> Hello to my little friend. <laughs> Severus, it's all oh, like, oh, everything's retarded percent. now. Hey, the cavalry's here, so time I guess. Yep. We're watching yeah. while I'm oh, waiting oh. on stuff to dry, I'm waiting we're watching CDAP play the Alex Jones game. They're turning the freaking And it's I'm streaming it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Demonetized it's fucking cancelled, dude. Watch out! Oh, oh no! That, those are a bitch. These gate socks are really gross. Oh no! That sounds like him. That sounds like him. Say hello, Alex. Hey, Tucker. Trucker News Network. Jones is saving the world. Damn, dude! I can't dodge them. Dude, I didn't even see it until it was on you. There it is again. Watch the attack helicopter. Hey, it's an orc. Thanks, Tucker. Alex Jones, you are a hero. Damn, did you hear that, boys? He's a fucking hero. That was a death copter. Sexual, sexual tyrannosaurus rex. I love this, like, goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Is this you escaping from Austin? No, we're uh, Canada. Yeah, I'm just Canada. Canada. I'm helping the trucker for a Oh, damn. Holy turret. Alright, so the snow can hit the, the truck, but not me. Yeah, I can't hit you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The cloud did a network! You are a dangerous experiment. Damn it. Machine right again. Oh, bro, they gave you the machine gun and it took away me? That's so funny. I'm gonna grab that extra life, bro. This one's gonna get me, I think. Clan News Network. Fuck me. I got you with the gay beam. You're just locked in your house. Operation Huttenberg never existed. The answer to 1984 is 17. Is that Brian Stelter over there in FN yeah, and Balloon? I think so. Ah! Oh. Guess you have to walk from here. We walk from here. That's like vaccine? What's the app? Oh, we got a new weapon? Flamethrower! Oh yeah, oh yeah. The elites don't want you to know this. Burn the heretic. Burn everything. The moon landing was a hoax. Okay, rats, look up. Oh, it's too bad you have unlimited ammo, yeah. Ah, what? Rats. Oh? It, it, it gets stuck every once in a while. The lottery 
is rigged. Watch all of a sudden we'll look on Twitch and there's like 200 people watching. <laughs> yeah, right. I haven't even looked at my Twitch. Turns, yeah, like what turns out it's like a fan game or something. We got one person watching, I guess, or following or something. But I got 75 followers over there too. Wow. Nice. Holy giraffe. Holy uh, Paul McCartney died 50 years ago. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> what the hell was that all about? Oh, you never heard that? Oh, no. Never heard that uh, conspiracy theory? Yeah. Paul McCartney died and was replaced by a double. Damn. Damn. Holy Woo. <coughs> Die one one was an inside job. It was a controlled demolition. More news trucks and a chopper. Stupid. Ah. Last life. Make a cap. Oh shit. Watch out for the whatever that is. I'll be naming the guns at you. Oh, oh he got it! Clutch! <laughs> You're freezing your money for your safety. <laughs> Mission complete! I'm gonna have my dinner, so <laughs> It's a, it's a CH-47 with just cannons on it. Like Nate, like... Yes. <laughs> and Gatling, and Gatling <laughs> guns. I mean Gatling guns. And a couple missile launchers. This is it, folks. No comment. The new World Order headquarters. Where oh, no. Dirty, traitorous, no good line scumbag Hitlers to their plan. <laughs> scumbag the Hitlers.
Well, on this, I am waiting on these magnet areas to dry, and that's really about it. We did all the green stuff pretty quickly compared to normal. So that was nice to see. Guy will be done, and we only have 14 more to go. Maybe, yeah, come here. No, no, no. Oh man, great talking to you, though, dude. See you, brother. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, anytime. Later. Have fun. No, I'm going to cook. That's good, dude. I like that. That, that uh, Severus guy. <laughs> yeah, that fucking traitor. That guy's weird. He's such a fucking tool. He's the only one I know that got upset because they weren't turning the frogs gay and he wasn't he wasn't invited. This one, green is Red is Daniel's. This is from Mr. Let's see, how does this go? wasn't invited to Slay Queen. Slay <laughs> Oh, that's right. I gotta cut this off. And uh, what did I do with it? Uh, I must have used it all. Damn. Oh well. We'll do it later. Time from now. What? What do you mean what? Negative. That was not part of the deal. And I sure as shit ain't gonna be able to assemble 14 more in half a day. Yeah. <laughs> 36 year old knights in symbol of pain. Oh shit. One second, Whoa, hold Look on the other side. Look at it. Got it. We did find somebody today, Severus, though, that has, he said he had 60 knights. You want to do this one? He, he does it competitively, I guess. 60? 60, 60. Holy shit, why? I mean, you can like them, I guess, but. I don't know. That uh, turn, like, competitive doesn't check out to me, because it's like, you, I mean, you only have, like, I mean, it's like a bait, taking a Bane Blade, you know? It's like 500 points per model or more. I don't know. 
No idea. Like, I don't even know. I don't know the math on loadouts. I don't either. I mean, even, even there, though, it's like just magnetizing shit, man. Like, yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm like doing right now. <laughs> magnetic arms, and you basically got every combination. Uh, maybe one of different houses and stuff. Who knows? Oh, uh, maybe, yeah. Collector. Yeah, every house, basically. <laughs> yeah. I don't have 60, but I got quite a few. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot, and that's not including, like, he's got a bunch of dogs and yep. basically every kind of computer Okay, armor. but I think it needs batteries. Hold on. Yeah, I've got, I don't even know, I think I have, I don't know, I'd have to count them all. I've got quite a few Lehman Russes, but not 60. Top mounted heavy stubbers. I don't know that I'm gonna do that. I I don't think they're really worth it, points cost wise. And I had an idea that maybe I could use these for my Imperial Guard, or maybe some kind of terrain type thing. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind. But anyway. I don't really think knights need the extra stubber. Well, I just like lots of firepower. Pointy. Well, I mean, like the demon Russes. You know, for oh, me, knows, I have the. I take a stubber. I don't usually don't take sponsons or used to. I don't know what points are like now, but. I don't either. I didn't find, I didn't find the sponsons worth it for a long time. Yeah. Well, for those of you on voice, hold on a second while I end the stream. So thank you, everybody, especially all the new subscribers, especially today. That's crazy. And again, if you subscribed, please make a note in the, or leave a note in the uh, comment section so I can thank you by name next time. And we will catch you later. Hey,